It's recording. Hello, and welcome to Shadow of the Broker 30, Lay Down Your Burdens. I will not be making a sex pun this time, so if you missed it, go watch this in one. Anyway, oh. I am here with uh, the motley crew of the Agents of the Broker, and no one new showed up. So let's go ahead and start out with the old introductions with Brandon. Um, I will be playing Saber Sintel. Um, he has recently been on a murder spree, uh, killing the people who uh, he blames for his mother's death and the fall of his people and that sort of thing. Uh, he sort of had a, uh, a moment of clarity, uh, thanks to the other agents, and is now on a path towards redemption, something that should be pretty long and arduous since he was at zero morality. Yes, let's all hope his redemption is as interesting as his fall. Uh, Chris. All right, I will be playing Key Vera. He is a 14-year-old Togruta thief. Um, he was raised on the Outer Rim by his brother, and then Bounty Hunters came and took his brother away, and so then Key got in with the broker's agents, and now he's working to find the Bounty Hunters and get his brother back by whatever means necessary. Okay, and Tommy. I'm playing Ragush Vai, who is a spy, and yeah, he works for the broker in terms of just, well, infiltrating and master disguise, especially after he found a really sweet flesh camouflage kit, thanks to um, his fellow agents in a PvP mission, and yeah. Okay, uh, James. So I'm playing Jokin Ben, who is a, a pilot. He's the most active agent um, working with the Rebellion, um, and he is, he found, he believes, there, one of the previous missions there was a rebel resistance cell that they ran into, and was then destroyed in a suspicious way, so Jokin is currently trying to dig to the bottom of that mystery. Yes, and let us hope he makes some headway. Uh... Jeff. Hello, everyone. I'm playing uh, R0C-K4, otherwise known as Rocky. <clears throat> he started out uh, as a little LEVO uh, police droid on a small penal colony um, on an asteroid. And uh, due to an electrical storm, he managed to dodge his uh, daily memory wipe. Since then, he's sort of been on the run. Um, taking odd jobs and learning more about the galaxy and especially more about himself. He eventually found his way uh, into the broker's employee where he negotiated a contract um, with the broker. And uh, since then, he's received a new body from uh, the mind of Jeppo Sr. and the technical skills of uh, our own Dr. Balkan Oppen um, and currently is seeking out uh, cortosis. Um, but in the, in the search for this, uh, for cortosis, we've to make his body... Uh, nigh invulnerable. Um, he's put some of his uh, fellow agents at risk, and that uh, will weigh heavily on his mechanical mind from time to time. All right, and finally, Dart. We playing Duran Boge, who is a Twi'lek or Twi'lek, or however you want to pronounce it, who uh, used to be a TV show host back before the Empire pretty much just stopped pretending to be good. And since then, he's been running with the broker. Uh, he's purchased his own ship, run a few smuggling missions, and has found that he has a penchant for gambling. Yeah, we all feel really guilty about that. All right, and that's everything. We have the Destiny added, and I'll roll for our resources right now. One, two, three, roll. 89. I think that actually shoots over the obligation's head. Too high. Yep. Uh, for duty, duty, that's resource acquisition for joking, for usual. <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. And 15 for morality, which procs sabers. Yep. Hide and arrogance. This will be fun. Mm. Which means if Saber goes down for this mission, so I'll make sure to keep track of conflict over here, uh, it'll be going down double. So, <laughs> so don't be oh. bad. <laughs> don't be bad. So Wait, did you Saber know, finally get above zero? He is at ten, actually. Ah. 
He'll be at zero by the end of the mission. Oh, no, I need to, like... With double, you can do it. You can totally shoot up to, like, 25. Yeah. Well, here's hoping. Yes, indeed. Here's hoping. <laughs> Once anyway. I, I, and I, take, I have to be at 70 before he stops taking a, dark, a light side point at the beginning. Yeah. Right. Stop raining on our parade. Wait, I thought they only took it when he was a paragon. Yeah. And <laughs> the dark side user. It's, uh, that's what the oh, book says. Oh, any dark side user. Yeah, mm. so he started doing it once he fell below 30, but now until he gets up to 70, right. he's still a dark side user. Right. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Well. Tell me that's not the most appropriate gif ever. I, 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 it, it's not fully red. Well, Just I think he's slightly seat. above right now. Isn't he at, like, 7? <laughs> 10. See? Ten. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Anyway, to finally start the mission 30 minutes after. Uh, and, of course, now I have to go on. All right. Uh, the crew finds themselves aboard their ship, the Sunflare. However, it has been, I guess a good word is commandeered, uh, to jump to a set of coordinates near the border of wild space. Uh, the jump itself is relatively easy, and when you arrive, you see a very large nebula stretching out before you on the space horizon. <laughs> Ew. And uh, waiting for you there is a surprisingly large... Wayfarer class medium transport. Uh, it has been modified to where it now carries two cargo pods on both sides of the command center instead of just one on the left side. And any of you keep uh, paying attention to Balkan's uh, side projects, you would know that this is the Farseer, his research team's flagship. Uh, it has very nice bit, big sciencey doodads on the side and. Uh, Balkan comes over the comm channel and uh, has the sun f uh, asks the sun flare to dock, which I assume it does. But only after making sure we've got guards to prevent Lord knows what coming off of it. <laughs> Balkan assures that all experiments are safely contained. Yeah. Uh, pulling up to I've the heard dock that before. docking port on one of the sides of the Farseer, Balkan appears through the airlock, and he is carrying uh, about a silhouette one-sized uh, pod. And he holds his hands up and says, this has nothing inside of it. It is just a beacon. Why are you holding it? Well, uh, allow me to cut to the chase. Uh, the sun flare is needed by me to complete a series of theoretic theoretical hyperdrive modif modifications. And as it has been previously equipped with some of these enhancements, like that uh, set, uh, that hyperdrive enhancement right device you managed to pick up from Facility 7. Okay, what's the pod for? Uh, <laughs> I'm getting to that. The testing ground for your, this will be the nebula uh, you see over there. And he points out the viewport to the nice big blobby thing you see in the distance. Uh, it's a stellar nursery, obviously in wild space, uh, with the same sort of fuzziness that one can expect from the tangle that separates our uh, explored space from the unknown regions on the other side of the galaxy. I am quite interested to see if the modifications I have designed will be able to cut through uh, the disturbances and allow a ship to jump to and from it in between the uh, disturbance. For all intents and purposes, it, this will be a shakedown cruise. We jump in, I run a couple of tests on the hyperdrive modifications, and then we drop this relay beacon, which, uh, and he points out the viewport towards the far seer, and you see it drop uh, a similar looking device from its cargo hold. Uh, and these beacons will allow us to easily jump out. Uh, so we're going into wild space. Yes. The place where no one comes out of. No. That's the unknown regions. Wild space is just poorly charted. Uh-huh. Why do people not get this difference? It's very easy to remember. 
On the other hand, it's separate from known space by the tangle, a very large and very dense hyperspace disturbance, which is very hard to jump through. Wild space is simply the frontier of our part of the galaxy. That is just well, not charted very well. Dr. Oppen, you mentioned that the pod you're holding is empty, but it, then you said it's a beacon, so isn't it full of the I didn't say that. I just said hickeys? nothing was in it. Well, there has to be things in it if it acts as a beacon, though, right? It has oh, to for the love of peace. Can someone you know, else explain it to rock? It's a beacon. It <laughs> talks to that thing the Farseer just dropped. Balkan doesn't know how to talk down to us less intelligent folk. I, can, I only know so many small words. When we jump into wild space, this, dropping this beacon will allow us to easily jump out of wild space. So do you actually need us, or do you just need the ship? Well, I need the ship, but I doubt any of you want to be on the Farseer for very long. Some of us have our own ships. Well, I always could use a nice set of hands. Fair enough. Rock will hold up his. Are mine not nice skills. enough? Rock, your hands are still coated in blood. <laughs> Plus, it has I have knives in them. The last time you try to do something with those, you end up stabbing a panel and breaking yeah. something. So, why don't you go wash them off, scissor hands, and I guess let's go plant this beacon. So the sun flare just flies around with the silver lining attached to it, always, unless Boge is gone? No, but if they're jumping somewhere, he's probably just going to jump in the lining itself. I mean... Oh, uh, yeah, in this case, I would say... I mean, Ragesh would probably say we probably want to keep them separate, you know, just in case. I mean, we can retcon. It depends on how this was brought up to tell them to come meet up with Balkan. He's going to fly his own ship unless there's reason not to, basically. Well, yeah, exactly. Just say that, you know, we need some agents to do some tests, and maybe you have the silver lining getting a new paint job or something. We can just retcon say it's somewhere else. That's fine. It's refueling somewhere. Well, the problem is you can't... The silver line wouldn't be able to jump by itself because it doesn't have the modifications the sun flare has to it. Exactly, that's what I'm that saying. So, out. yeah, that that's why we just want to take one ship. Okay. All right. Uh, so after that clearance, Falcon uh, takes the beacon and puts it near an airlock while he goes to the engine room and starts to uh, tinker with the hyperdrive a bit to assort several of the enhancements together. Uh, the crew can do their own thing if they want. They can also look over Balkan's shoulder to try and see what he's doing, but that will be a difficult knowledge roll. Um, yeah, Ragesh will actually take a look. Okay. Uh, I think for five. Yeah, it, it's going to be a daunting, and I'll upgrade it because I might as well try and give you some light. It's going to be a daunting knowledge education check. Hunting knowledge education. Okay, let me see what I've got. I don't think I have anything. Yeah, what do we have education-wise or like in intellect-wise? Oh, Jokin. We've got Jokin. Okay. I was about to say, there was that one mission uh, where we were wandering around, and I think we, no one had higher than two intellect. Huh. Just kind of said. Uh, hey, um, Jokin. Uh, Ragesh weighs over. It's like, you know, come over here. And I'll just give Jokin assistance. I'm just curious to see what uh, Balkan is doing, and you know, but I don't want to disturb the great intellect while he's working. <laughs> so, uh, James, it was daunting. Upgraded once, right? Yeah, it was one red, three purple. Maybe should have added setback, but he's familiar with his own thing. I doubt that would matter. Plus one B from Ragesh. Oh wait, he was probably gone when I said the check. It's going to be knowledge education. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so Jokin is in the cockpit, banging away, listening to some music. So Ragesh is going to have to do it. Oh. Here, I'm back. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, one red, three purple. Knowledge education check to see what Balkan is doing with the hyperdrive. Yeah. And you'll one get a red from Rogash. Knowledge education. Anyone have a rank in education that wants to observe with me? I don't think it's that kind of crew. <laughs> well, you have someone who does it, but he's the one doing the work. Yeah. So, I assume someone will just help me look. Yeah, Rogesh yeah, is it, Robert, Rogesh is helping. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can see that Balkan has tied several mechanisms uh, to the hyperdrive, and it looks kind of like a nice life day tree, but you have no idea what any of it means. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I am currently trying to deliver more power to several of the devices you have affixed to the hyperdrive, along with attaching a few of my own. Completely detachable, and in fact I have them routed through a specific uh, central power nexus above the hyperdrive. Uh, can e easily detach all of this when we're done. Risks does it bring to the ship and the reactor and all that sort of stuff? I'm sorry, what was the question? What what sort of risks does this you know open the ship to? Oh well, nothing because I haven't brought any of uh, I haven't brought anything explosive. It's all tied to the ship's central reactor, which it already has. Uh, this is more just a bunch of stuff that allow us to cut through uh, lesser mass shadows and be able to preemptively maneuver around larger ones. Uh, it ties in a lot. Uh, it ties in a lot to the Navi computer and Pippa's uh, extra. Astrogating talents. All right, Jokin. Jokin, I think is convinced. Or you know, he doesn't know actually what is going on, obviously, but that sounds reasonable and smart. Huzzah! Okay, and so after a couple of hours, Balkan has affixed his modifications to the hyperdrive, and uh, after asking Jokin to ask Pippa to run several equations he has brought with him that is supposed to direct the ship to a specific part of the stellar nursery. The ship quickly jumps into hyperspace. Uh, it's a very short trip uh, and peaceful it doesn't, it, and it seems like everything is working smoothly until the ship exits hyperspace and right in front of it is a big... You should only see one picture on this page. Do you only see one picture? Yep. Okay, yes. Good. Yes. And you see before you, uh, almost exactly like it is in the picture, a Terran planet, terrestrial planet, that's a better word for it, with a large belt of asteroids floating around it in a very pretty ring. Uh, Balkan uh, appears to be just intrigued with how the hyperdrive works, but when he comes to the cockpit, uh, he says only to see how Pippa handed his equations, he appears to be stunned by the sight in front of him. This, he says aloud, shouldn't be here. We're in a stellar nursery. All that should be here are very young stars, proto-stars, and failed, failed stars. There shouldn't be any fully formed planets here, especially not something that looks this old. It has water on it, and I think I see some green. What the hell? Well... This is, you know, wild space, so it's not like we know everything and, you know, there could be a bubble inside the nursery or something, maybe? Uh, the theories regarding stellar development seem very concrete. We would need more. Uh, and then, oh, you know what, I should have pulled this up, but I didn't have time. Here, uh, Claxtons start to uh, whale within the ship. Apparently it has detected uh, weapons lock on to it. Oh good, uh, so there's sentience on this planet. Yeah, someone roll me a hard perception or average computers check. Does anyone have ranks in computers? No, right? Cause you guys um, Key has two computers. Nice. Okay. Token has a lot of intellect. Um, <laughs> average computers you said, Jack? Yeah, average computers. Whoa. I'll do the perception check if we can have one of each. 
Yeah, and I'll say you even get a boost, because uh, you didn't detect what it was, but you know the general direction in which to look. Alright, and you said that was a hard perception, correct? Yes. Alright. Alrighty. Um, and can I get assistance from somebody? <laughs> sure. I mean, I would, but I just gave assistance. Right. Yeah. I mean, Saber would probably be focusing on Vigilance if it's possible to use that if this one fails. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and Balkan flips the switch on the Klaxon, visibly annoyed. Uh, <laughs> Jokin is able to see in the distance, hovering above the planet, sort of between the... Shut up. <laughs> See, hovering above the planet is what appears to be a small space station. It is apparently the source of the weapons lock, and, and for that advantage, I'll say you can also see several small dots uh, leaving the station, and they appear to be approaching you. They're too far away to see, but you can probably assume with the weapons lock it's not good. Should I get on the guns? Um, uh, remember that all guns on the Citadel are forward-facing. That's better that than nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get on the comms and just say, you know, sorry to disturb you, we come in peace. Uh, you do, it, then. <laughs> uh, you're broadcasting, but you do not get a response. Uh, the dots are still approaching. All right, well, let's go. See you guys. New plan, evasive maneuvers. Yep, evasive maneuvers is my plan. Uh, I will mention that the ring of asteroids around the planet is actually there, and you can get in, get to it in short order if you want to get cover. Uh, I mean, um, I guess what's preventing us from just... Uh, this is more just as a player. Balkan can drop the pod, but it is going to take time for the beacons to speak to each other in the corridor. Uh, and it's it will take longer than it would take for those ships, you can guess, approaching to actually get here. Okay, so in other words, I mean, Balkan's like, we're not running, basically. Uh, we can run, but it's going to take more time than we have. And this station's sizable, right? It's not just a small little outpost or anything? Uh, it's, it's uh, to get a silhouette, it's like silhouette six. Okay, because that's like a rebel base level two in Empire at War, I think, so... All right, then, yeah, let's go into that asteroid belt and, you know, drop the beacon in there so they don't just blow it up out of the sky or out of space. Can we get a sense of what's actually coming at us? Uh, the, the dots are too far away. Uh, if you want to try and scan them, it will be a hard computer's check. Try it again. Yeah, well, the average one was to detect the space station. This one's right. to detect what's approaching. <laughs> ah! Well, that's, Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, yeah. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. You don't know what's coming, but you are able to get a readout on the space station, and it does appear to be uh, a standard alliance model, the Rebel Alliance. It appears to be a space station that they commonly use. Ah. Oh. Style or an actual? You aren't able to get anything concrete, but it lo it's like if it, it it looks like and smells like and tastes like a rebel space station. All right, so do I want to try and get close to it, or do we want to still hide? Well, I mean, Jokin can send out his rebel, uh, whatever Admiral. he sends out to identify himself as a rebel. Yeah, I think it's his Facebook link. Rogesh is totally giving him the side eye. It looks like your friends. <laughs> Joking, we'll give it back. It looks like our friends might uh, might could be a help this time, maybe. Friends are shooting missiles at us. We should probably hurry. No one is shot yet. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, Joking, I guess we'll transmit the 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 password or whatever. Password is guest. <laughs> guest <laughs> password one. Is password. The login is guest. I. Uh... It uh, like what like what happened when Rogesh sent out his call. Uh, you can tell that you are broadcasting, and if they have ears, they heard it. But 
they have they do not seem to send a response, and the ships are still closing. Thank so why don't we head to the, the 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 rings then? Yes. All right. Uh, to enter the asteroid belt unharmed, uh, what speed would you want to be going at? I'll let you pick. Uh, you don't you don't have to do like a roll for it. Uh, Let's make this interesting. Go as fast as we can. You know we've got speed three then. All right, speed three. Uh, so it's going to be two red, two purple to enter the asteroid field without getting damaged. You can do it. Uh, well, guys. We, we should co-pilot this first so we can lower those reds. All right, and if you're going to do that... Uh... Chi, you're okay. up. Never mind. Oh, is Key the second best pilot here? Yes. <laughs> All right, running back from the gunnery station. Well, the gunnery station is probably in the cockpit because the gun's all face forward. <laughs> oh, good point. It was a very oh, short oh, run. And I'll also, I'll also add uh, anyone who wants to do gunnery checks to shoot at the asteroids can add boost die to the piloting check. Oh, okay, uh, I will jump what if, on it. What if Saber wants to do something a little bit different? Is it you fire discipline? I mean, he can at least meditate on it. I don't know if he can actually move anything this big. Uh, I'll say there are a few silhouette twos and threes in there. So, uh, and they'll, and they'll be, they'll, they won't have to be in planetary range. So, yes, I'll let you do that, but it's, it's still going to produce boost die. I don't think I'll make it any better. uh, All right. Can someone make some inspiring words here? So that, that co-pilot turns the piloting check to a regular daunting. All right. I'm going to do an inspiring, uh, rhetoric of they're gaining on us. And I'm going to double or nothing it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Lots of advantages are good. That's uh, 16 advantages and two successes. <laughs> so. We're we'll all kinda... very, very inspired. Basically, only two people can actually take that because of the two successes, but they can each recover at eight strain, I guess. Wow. Uh, we'll give that to Jokin and Key, so you guys get boost for the next three rounds. Cool. As well as wiping all strain. <laughs> that we never got. Yeah, well, I tried. Okay, so who? how many people are doing useful things to help? I heard Rogesh. Um, Saber's yeah. also giving you a boost, too. Uh, you're going to be firing at stuff that's proportional to the sun flare, so let me just double check, because I know we have that on here. The silhouette damage thing. Oh, right, I'm actually go. going to be oh, firing then. It's not just a static boost. Yeah, yeah, you're actually okay. going to have to make the check before you can give them the boost. Got it. Because there is a chance you can miss wildly. Uh, it's just going to be an average check. Alrighty. Um, I can do that. So, gunnery average. And I'll aim. And, um... Goose. Oh, and I forgot to actually put in the whatchamacallit. Your actual dice. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. With the advantage, I'm going to go completely off base here and say you can. the uh, ships are still not in firing range because they haven't fired on you, but now they have come close enough that you can easily tell that they are X-Wings. Uh, but you still miss wildly. You just notice this out of the gun port. <laughs> Pay attention! Okay. And so Saber is going to attempt to hopefully maneuver some Silhouette 3 objects out of the way, but he's trying to do more than one, so he's going to do four difficulty. Wow. Oh so... Oh, wow, the light side is with him. Okay, I'm going to flip and take three strain... Uh, and then I guess you can decide what to do with the threat, but yeah, he can do it without taking conflict. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just keep that threat in mind. But yeah. all right, you're able to move. Uh, you're that's a lot of force. Move? Um, I can. Oh, that's a good question. Technically, I can only move one because I don't have any advantage. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, then you you did. You moved one that was on a dangerous course towards the Sun Flare out of the way, so yeah, but, uh, Jokin will get his boost. Nice All job, right. Saber! Boost. You hey, see, you know, he's stressing out a bit. He's he's empowered by the light side, but it's it's not quite uh, with him entirely. 
it touches unfamiliar. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Yep. Uh, I think that's <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, right. I think. Do we want to re-roll it, guys? Is it, or do we think there's gonna be something harder later? No, we we can take at least one hit. Don't yeah. you think? I mean, we this this ship is a tough one. Uh, I'm gonna say for that advantage, you actually don't get hit, but Jokin had to really pull back on the stick in order to get you guys into the asteroid field. So the <laughs> X-wings behind you are able to cl- are able to close in, and they're entering the f- they're gonna try to enter the field as well. Okay, that's reasonable. So for them, let's see. They'll be they want to catch up, so they're gonna go silhouette. They're gonna go speed four, and it's half their silhouette. Round it up so two. Okay, so it's the same check. And their piloting would be... And they can't co-pilot. Yeah, they can't. Them in those X-Wings. If only they were in Y-Wings. Well, the co-pilot, the the co-pilot is the gunner, so... I can't do math. All right. Oh, whoops, forgot to get rid of those. Yeah. Ignore the numbers. Uh, yeah. However, they succeed and they are able to close. Uh, they have not opened fire, but they are now in the asteroid field behind you, and they appear to be gaining. So we are maintaining evasive maneuvers against them as much as we can. Uh, you actually get that as default for being in the asteroid belt. Okay. Uh, so if you want to keep going through the field, it is going to be another... Uh, two red, two purple roll, which I assume you want to co-pilot out of. We would love to co-pilot out of it. So the same rolls all around then? Uh, yes, for shooting, for all that jazz. But I'm going to flip for you when you're shooting. <clears throat> Bo's just going to make some more inspiring words here to reach the others on the ship. Why are you picking on me? Double or nothing. Because if uh, I upgrade the piloting check, he would just get rid of it. That's just a flip wasted. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember that uh, to be able to use the light side anyway, Saber is going to have to flip. Um, but you know. Okay, so this is going to reach Saber, Rogesh, and Rock, I guess, as well. I don't know what he's doing, but um, there's a I total of... Chat, um, sorry to interrupt, but Rock, uh, not really be feeling he's going to be terribly useful at this point, uh, went into sleep mode before they entered hyperspace. <laughs> God damn it, Rock, wake up! You can wake him up. Like you can totally wake him. Like wake up and but like, what is he gonna do? I can he do can leadership. Throw checks. him out of the airlock, and then he can latch onto the X-wing behind us. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Saber can direct him with the force onto the ship. Oh man! Just make sure I have like a, a lifeline attached so I can get back. That's what the force is for. Uh, they are still pretty far off planetary scale, so it's going to be quite a throw and quite a very long line. Uh, do I get a boost then from you, Bosch? Yeah, at this point everyone but Rock is getting a boost and everyone can wipe strain because there's more than enough for what's on the dossier. All right. um, so I'm going to say that I aim twice, and how much strain do I wipe? Oh, that's enough, so I'll wipe that strain. Here it goes. Yeah, there's basically ten strain that can be wiped right now, so... Nice. Okay. I, I'll say that's enough for two boosts to Jogan's next check. Oh, yeah, because you can link to know that stuff. Yeah, you you're able to, to uh, hit one asteroid enough that it actually breaks up and takes out a few other in the Sunflare's path. Phew. Um, are you going to upgrade the force check for Saber? <laughs> sure. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to use Boja's boost... Okay, um, you see Saber focus, uh, but he does not want to give in to the dark side, so nothing happens. The temptation is there, but the, uh, the, it doesn't seem like des- desperate enough to uh Oh, to would he have needed so. um, two more? I need, I need three, yeah, to do range and strength upgrades. Got because even, we're, since we're at planetary scale, it's like, as soon as it's close enough, he's having to move it away, but even close, that's at least long range. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he can't he can't do anything. Good try. <laughs> okay, so just two boosts extra then. Uh, yeah, you get two boosts from R- Rogesh did, and one from Boju's rhetoric. And you still yep. have the two red, two purple. Oh, Key, do you want to 
do something about that? He might have had to step away. I think he said there he was fell asleep the at the door. wheel. Oh no! <laughs> Someone just want to remake the same check that he made before. I think it's just five green versus two purple. Yeah, it was five green, two purple. I'll so, roll it real quick. Yeah, I will allow this. Oh. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll let I'll let that pass one more boost, but it's not going to take away any of the reds. Uh, okay, and I'm actually going to. Okay. A my master. Well, let me just make sure this isn't once the. No, once per round. Um, so I'm going to take two strain. To fire as well. Where am I? Joking about fire. The uh, asteroids in front of us. Let me just double check my gunnery. Ooh, that was better gunnery. Oh, so you can use strain to turn. Do an action as a maneuver, or maneuver? Yeah, an action as a maneuver. Wow, that's nice. What is that called? Does it have to be ship related, or can it be any action? Master pilot. Uh, Uh, There you go. Yeah. All right. uh, It's going to be average if you want to just shoot at uh, asteroid of uh, the same silhouette. Uh, You can't. Oh wait, that just makes it easier. Never mind. Average check. Actually, can I aim for asteroids a size larger than us? Uh, the problem is that actually just makes it easier to hit. Which yeah. Yeah. Why is that a problem? <laughs> I guess it would be the problem is you don't know about the efficacy of the weapons on the asteroid. Fair enough. I'll stick with it. I just have also have the. Oh yeah, that's options. a good point. It's a solid rock, not something that you can really make it. Yeah. All right. Well, here goes. Okay. Hit. So I give myself an extra boost. Yes. And it's against. Oh, I didn't get the downgrades though, right? Correct. You got a boost instead of a downgrade. Right. Yeah. Keys pitching the stick. Oh my god. Able to really help. <sighs> All right. Uh, you again. The you have you just you have to pull back in order to keep uh from hitting some of the more dangerous looking asteroids and uh the X wings are going to try and gain. Ooh. Are you stalling uh, on purpose for your rebel buddies? Rogas yells over. <laughs> Uh, you see the squadrons. Try, you see the uh, squadron try to break up to get around uh, a nice flurry of pebbles you've made in your wake. But uh, it looks like one of them gets caught up in the uh, fine mist, and it looks like their engines, the intakes, just can't take it, and the engines explode. Uh, so one of them's Whoa. gone. Joken's gonna hail them again and say. If you guys keep this chase up, uh, you're not going to make it back or something to that effect. Uh, For the triumph, I'm going to say... (coughs) Okay, yeah, I don't have to tell you that. (laughs) The triumph has been spent. I'll let you know that. Uh, I'll let you know on what later. Um, Can I... Can Joken actually get a boost from Rogesh's taunt? Because... You know, he's like, wait a minute. Uh, Rogesh is literally going to say, I know you can fly better than this. What, what's up? What's going on? I'd almost say that's a setback, but I'll let you pick. <laughs> One of each? Ooh. Sure. Hmm? Cool. I like that. Because <laughs> he can take away the setback. Uh, a boost from the pot. <laughs> Well, then I can. Th- oh, you know what? I haven't been adding setback for the terrain anyway. It should have been. I should. We should have been rolling two more setback with all these rolls. Well, oh, well. Setback. Yeah. yeah, he sounds like a pretty skilled jockey to me. All right. Actually, I think these guys might actually have that. Oh, yeah. They could have removed one, but I'll just remember to add one for the next checks. Great. Uh, Okay, so uh, you're still in the asteroid field. Uh, it looks like the fighters had to pull back, but uh, you're not in the clear yet. Uh, in fact, okay, yeah. Would someone be on the sensors at this time, I assume? Um, that's probably where Saber's been meditating, or slash, you know, 
trying to get a just just a place where he could get a good visual sense since he's obviously much uh, what he was doing really depends on his ability to see what's all right uh, then maybe as his eyes pace over one of these sensor readouts he can roll a hard perception check Ooh, vigilance no you can't. Uh, <laughs> I I can't I can't do this um, you can try. I won't upgrade it. Can we say that Ragesh is pretty close by and is uh, looking in the same direction? Because, you know, I'm trying to shoot stuff. I would, uh, unless Saber wants to say he was meditating on the cockpit, no, because of the way the weapons work on the Citadel. Well, I would say that he probably made his way to the cockpit, though, because he would need to see the, he would need to be in the most forward-facing part of the um, ship to see and move things. Uh, sure, but uh, you're gonna have it's gonna be a quick glance while you're firing, so it's gonna be with a setback since Saber can't help you seeing nothing. <laughs> I actually think Saber is staggered for some reason. <laughs> oh no, I was saying that I was I was I was gonna give a boost to Saber. Yeah. Or I guess it would make more. S I don't want to game it too much, so. Um... I'll let Rogesh roll it, but since he's busy firing, it's going to be something he just sees out of his periphery. So that's that's what the setback's going to be there for. Okay. And it's still going to be hard. I just I didn't want to take the moment away from Brandon. Um, are you okay with that, or how did? Uh, I mean, I've already rolled. I don't. I, yeah. Oh. There's... Derp. Yeah. He, okay. He, uh, Saber didn't see anything, so. Because right. he, he has one cunning. <laughs> Which, for some reason, perception is tied to. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always argue for vigilance. <laughs> well, sometimes I just it just doesn't work. Yeah. Especially since FFG. Oh, nice. <laughs> right. Well, uh, you still need to roll that setback, although that can only remove really one of the successes anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, you, uh, in just a sideways glance, you look at the sensor readout as it pings a new display, and it looks like the station has dispatched a corvette-sized craft to the same approach vector the fighters were following. Oh, so I relay this information. I'm just like joking. Just pretend that these are Imperials and, you know, start flying like you mean it. Alright. Sounds like there's time for another uh, uh, another check to get through the asteroid. Uh, you hear Balkan calling from the back that he's trying to get the relay to talk to the Farseer's beacon uh, while well, it's still on board, so he's trying to buy you guys some more time, but he uh, is still in the middle of that. Ooh. All right, uh, you're able. Uh, yeah, I say with that many successes, you're able to take out a couple asteroids that were in the path, so that'll be two bonus uh, boosts to Jokin's next check. Pew pew pew. All right, Jokin, uh, got another one. Okay, and do you want to upgrade in my force check? <sighs> Yes. Okay. Do we still have a boost from uh, Bosch? Yeah, yeah, two more turns. Okay. Oh, can... Oh. Nice. Um, yeah, so he can do it again with three strain and whatever you want to use the threat for. I'm telling it all up. Almost. <laughs> making a nice big list. See, I all totally right, um... see one of those move, and I'm just like, whoa, Saber, awesome. Okay, everyone can wipe the strain again. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Close is like cold together. Bulge is such yeah. a great cheerleader. We should oh, give him yeah. pom poms for his birthday. I also Probably. have to flip. He also has enough to just clear the strain he gets from doing master leader, so that's nice. And can anyone can someone just roll real quick for key five green versus two red uh, two purple? I'm actually gonna upgrade that. So one red, one purple. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Did I just take away a light side or give you guys? Okay. You you did the right thing. Yeah, I so I, I had to right. Two. Yeah, I had to right. two. So it's gonna be four purple again, and uh, with three setback. I know you probably remove all those, but I should make that clear. I removed two of them. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> so much closer than you'd think. Jokin's gonna give a look over at. Uh, Guess. How's that for you know flying away from materials? Adequate. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say 
<laughs> Unless you want to change it, that you took an especially dangerous course through several asteroids that appear to be set on a collision course, and you're going to upgrade the pursuing fighter's next check. And remember those setbacks. Yeah, I, I have them tallied up this time. Excellent. All and right. I so two boosts to either give myself a boost or give them a setback. I, I can say a setback since we already have that narrative set up anyway. All right. Why didn't right. your code work? What's going on? The fighters are still going to try and approach. Oh, it uh, looks like uh, the course was uh, the course was to the Sunflyer's benefit. Uh, the asteroids come across and they club two more uh, fighters down from the sky. Oh, these guys just explode, huh? Yep. Uh, they appear to be very dead set on approaching you, but it's making it very dangerous for them. Jeez. Uh, in fact, actually, you can see the Corvette is now trying to close in on the asteroid field as well. Uh, first, it is going to try and blast a few out of the way. Yeah. Let's see, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. You can uh, be upgrading their checks too, you know? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to upgrade this one's. Uh, and it is also going to use... Uh, and since it is firing at a large mass of asteroids, so that is actually going to make its check harder, because it, it needs to clear more space in the field to get in. Uh, and it has the setback. Oh, wait, it doesn't have a setback because it's not flying, and it's just shooting at the moment. Okay, so the Corvette is able to clear a path for itself into the field, and it is going to try and fly in. Remember, it's setbacks for handling, too. Yep, 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 I got it. Got all of it. Makes that three, and it's going to be, oop, just three yellow. This ain't going to go well for it. Oh, all right. Uh, the Corvette, it looks like it takes some superficial damage from the chunks of the rocks it was able to blast away, but the Corvette is now in the field and it is closing. Darn. Uh, in fact, yeah, all right. I'm going to have... Well, is it, really, is it really closing in on us in that we're going at pretty good speed right now? Uh, it is actually able to match your speed. Uh, and you have been uh, yeah, uh, full, full throttle. It has, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's been matching your speed, but I'm but you've been having to it's behind you, okay? It hasn't shot at you, but it's behind you. And it's following you. What silhouette is it? Five? Yes. Got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so another round of going through the field. If you want to do all your checks to make that the final roll. Ugh. I think um, I'm going to actually train that up at some point. Might as well. Saber is actually interested in sort of like, uh, instead of moving things out of our way, he wants to move things around behind us right now. Um, I guess that can cause more setbacks for them. That is a great idea. I need to get on the tractor beam and start doing that, too. Next round. By all means. Um, so, I guess I'll stick with the same size objects that he's trying to move um, and just try to clutter up the, the space behind. All right. Yeah, I can make that add setback at least. Okay, and what's uh, do you want to upgrade? No, not this time. Okay, <laughs> uh, nothing from Boge, right? Or no, the boost from Boge is still in play. Yeah, you still. Everyone still has three turns now. He keeps resetting it. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, and then also too, Ragash is gonna yell over. You can do it. <laughs> Motivation. Oh wow. Yes, I can do two silhouette three asteroids into its way. Wow. So, three strain for. Temporarily. Oh, I need to flip. Yeah, and I'll say each one of those adds a setback. Sweet. Especially for the Corvette, if nothing else. Uh, uh, right. 
Uh, yeah, this time around he's just trying to keep the bigger ship from getting in closer. So you do see him turn around and, and just take two, his two hands and just push things toward, uh, towards the back of the ship. All right, here, here's what I'm going to do just to trace back over some of these rolls. Uh, Jokin can take a boost for his own gunnery check. Yep. However, for Saber and Rogesh, I'm going to say Rogesh is able to blast off a few chunks from the larger asteroids and just create a larger debris field, and that will give setbacks to the fighter's pursuit. Uh, what Saber did is going to add setbacks to the Corvette's pursuit. Cool. Whoops. Can we get keyed in? I, uh, I, I imagine that looks pretty unnatural, too, uh, what I just did, so... Uh, yes. Then again, it's not like they saw you so much as asteroids just started moving unpredictably. I don't know. You never know what's what the rebels have, or if they if they are rebels. Rebel scum. Oh, key, you you're the worst. <laughs> All right, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you take another boost die from that. Oh man. <laughs> so it leaves the red. All right. In fact, I'll also uh not too late. <laughs> All right, you are actually able to pull far and ahead of the pursuing ships. Uh, in fact, there is... Yeah, you know what? There is so much crap in their way, they're falling back. Nice. Uh, however, as it appears that you are in the clear, uh, you suddenly uh, hear uh, the klaxons start to wail again, even after Balkan dismissively uh, dismissed them. It appears you have been targeted by a... Uh, a new weapon. Oh. Bad feeling about this. Yes, uh, from the planet below, a blue streak suddenly str uh, come across the viewport. A uh, few of them miss, but one of them hits the sun flare dead on, and the electronics on board the ship begin to spark and die out. Oh, uh, we can't even try to dodge uh -oh. it. Nope, moving at the speed of light. Speed uh, of plot, I believe. Is the term. <laughs> that <Yeah>. too. <laughs> uh, quickly, as the sun flares engines die, its inertia bleeds off, and the planet begins to. And the planet takes hold of it and drags it down into the, onto the surface. Uh, Good plan. The, Escape pods. <laughs> uh, as the ship begins to plummet uh, through the sky, the atmosphere quickly breaking off. Uh, Balkan calls in from the engine room through uh, your mobile comlinks, which are still active because they weren't connected to the ship. He says, quick, you need to go to my lab and connect my personal generator to the main reactor. I think I can use it to kickstart the ship back to life. Uh, to do this, it will be a hard mechanics or a daunting skill degree. Uh, Jokin, eh, since he can't really fly the ship at the moment, I'll say he can do it. Oh, great. What was it was hard, hard mechanics. mechanics. Uh, for either one, upgrade. You can only do one at the moment. All right. Um, so I get a free upgrade because I've got the manual for the ship. <laughs> uh, you can. You, you know. You know exactly where to plug the generator into. Yeah. yeah. You might assume Key's assisting you, so you can get the double boost. Unless we want him to try skull dugger in case it doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll just take a single boost from someone else. Um, Ragesh um, will yell encouragement in air quotes. You also still have Boja's boost, so... Yeah. Okay. Hope you can do that better than you can fly! <laughs> I've done it. Oh. Oh, oh my, how I lose track of rolls. Yes, you are able to drag Balkan's uh, personal generator to the reactor room and plug it into the main reactor. Uh, with little fiddling, Balkan is able to use the power in the generator to spark the reactor back to life. Quickly, the power comes back to the ship, and you hear the repulsor lifts try and spark to life. Uh, the ship is still in freefall because the pilot is in the reactor room. Uh, so, <laughs> the piloting check to pull you know, the ship Bo's out is still of in the cockpit, so he'll take the controls. Yeah, that's right. He can, you know... <laughs> All right, but then Boj is going to have to roll next, either that or... Okay. Well, I mean, if Jokin can get there faster, he can, but I was yeah. figuring that Boj would have taken over while Jokin was running yeah, back. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, well, since Jokin can incidentally be back in the pilot seat, I think we can... All right, well, might as well let you use that talent. Fine. He's able to quickly... <laughs> <get him. laughs> 
He's able to uh, teleport the gravity enough to just slide down the hallway back into the cockpit using the dive instead of the ship's own gravity to propel him. Jo- uh, Boge can give it a go, and then Joe can always, you know. Boge isn't gonna do too well, so it's fine if you just want to. Okay. I'll, I'll, I, I find that if that, yeah, if you have a talent that lets you do that, you have a talent that lets you do that. So. Okay. I, I, I'm fully, I'm fully okay with you using it to get into the seat immediately. And you know All what? Right, so, um, can you get a boost because Ragesh actually looks mildly impressed. He doesn't say a word, but as you slide back into the seat, he's kind of like, oh wow, oh. Sure, a uh, boost from the envy of Rogesh. All right. All right. It's so, healthy. Yes, to pull the ship out of the dive, it is going to be a uh, daunting piloting check. And sure, I'll upgrade that too. <laughs> Alright. Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, okay, I say that this is when you re-roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I'll just translate that threat as system strain, but you are able to... With a loud groan coming from the uh, frame of the sun flare, pull it out of its dive, and you find that you are now flying through a nice, quaint-looking valley, uh, like the picture below. Oh, it dragged us that far that fast. Wow, okay. Which picture? Well, it did take some time to plug the generator in. Right. Uh, Token was surprisingly fast, but not that fast. That's enough that we didn't impact, at least. Yes. Yes, yes. indeed. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, we're. Do we see settlements of any sort, or? Uh, the long the long range scanners are able to pick up very large, uh, energy signals that you could assume are settlements, but you can't see any at the moment. No. Uh, and did you unhide the valley picture? Uh, there should be one at the bottom of the page. You may need to have to. Sc- you may need to scroll down. Hmm. Oh, I don't... No. No. A whole thing... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't move the banner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now it should be on the page. Very pretty. <laughs> A painter of light. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yes, you do know there are settlements nearby. You're not... You, you could fly to them very quickly, but you could also just land the ship here if you want and hike to a nearby one. I would say that we should land because we don't know what's going on and we shouldn't go any place where they can track the ship. Yeah, we shouldn't let them... If they think we've, they've taken us down, we should just let them think that for the time being. So yeah, if we can Are- try to find a cul-de-sac of some sort that we can hide the ship... There are plenty of good hidey holes in this valley for you to hide the ship in. Uh, I'm going to say, like in Spoils of War, the difficulty of the piloting check you want to use to get into the hiding hiding spot will be the difficulty it is to spot it. Uh, let's make it daunting. What do you guys think? That's what I was dialing. Yeah. <laughs> so we're and just doing sure. perception? Uh... Yeah, I, I say you can use perception to add boosts, like point out outcroppings to look out for as you're pulling in. Uh, and it's it'll be one difficulty below the difficulty of the check to hide the ship. Okay, so I will try to spot something. So here's a hard check. And um, I'm not going to upgrade since it's just a boost. Oh dear. That was to find that was to find a hidey hole. Oh, you, uh, there there are plenty. It, it it is really just what difficulty you want to take to pull the ship into a hiding spot. Okay. For, for my triumph, can I upgrade my hiding? Even though I didn't find a good spot, I maybe got a feeling for how the terrain is, and can upgrade my check one. <laughs> oh, um, I found a good spot. Uh, I'll, I'll apply that triumph to something else further down the line. Okay. So just, re- just remind you that you rolled it. I will do my best. I yell over to Joke, and where are you looking? Over there, over there. All right. Here we land. We landed. Yes, nice. 
All right. Uh, you are able to pull the ship into... Hey, I flipped for that. I need, a red, I need a black die back. What no one realizes is the back of this waterfall is hollow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, that's actually the formidable one. Uh, for the daunting one, you're able to notice that this waterfall over here, that's the wrong thing, over here, uh, has actually carved out uh, several uh, little sharp outcroppings in the cliff side. Uh, not really a cave that it's able to obscure, but you're able to easily tuck the sun flare uh, into one near the base, and some foliage is covering the top. So from a bird's eye perspective, you still wouldn't see the ship. Nice. All right, uh, and also what Joker was able to spot, even though he did not spot the hiding spot itself, uh, was a nice little uh, animal footpath that had been carved a, through a portion of the foliage in the valley. And you're able to notice that uh, you're able, you'll be, you would be able, if you want to go to the settlement you detected, use the footpath uh, for a good portion of the trek. So that will be an upgrade to the survival check you need to make to travel to the settlement. Sweet. What's the weather? I mean, is it cold? <laughs> temperate? It's actually it, yeah, it's actually quite pleasant. Uh, partly cloudy. It looks like it rained recently. The ground is kind of soggy, but uh, it's very it's it's a very nice place. Uh, Balkan actually looking out the viewport is quite surprised because, it, I mean, since it's quite obvious the planet is settled, he begins to hypothesize that they brought with them a very advanced, or very, at least if nothing else, sophisticated uh, terraformer, and that was probably and that's probably what allowed the planet to take on its uh, terrestrial appearance, even though it is fairly young. Rockle uh, finishes boot sequences and comes going, ah, what I miss? <laughs> May this crash, Rock. A lot. Uh, Jokin is also going to make sure to put on the um, the camouflage netting before setting off. Uh, what does that do for searches? Uh, I believe it. Let me double check. Doubles the difficulty. Two failure. Failure to uh, check to find something. So it automatically adds two failures. Yep. All right, uh, so for the trek to the settlement... Oh, actually, sorry, I went a bit too over my head. Uh, Balkan is actually also going to appear from the engine room, and he is going to have a nice piece of what looks like metal slag in his hand. It looks like we have... And he says we have a slight problem. Is it that? Is that the problem? Yes, uh, this was the main uh, power regulator for several of the modifications I had attached to... Actually, it was a part of the control nexus that I of the modifications I attached to the hyperdrive. Let's see, and why does it look like that now? The ion cannon. Uh, yeah, the ion burst that hit the ship. Uh, did a number on several of the systems, and it looks like for the hyperdrive, it was mainly focused on this. Uh, it heated, it was heated beyond uh, expected parameters, and the metal, well, melted. Ooh. Yes, it is uh, quite unusable unless you want to bash someone over the head with it. And uh, Balkan kind of gestures it to Rock to see if he wants it. <laughs> no, I, I've got my own uh, head bashers, and I'll just wave my hands at them. All right. Well, anyway, in order for our hyperdrive to be restored, I'm going to need a new one of these. The good news is it is relatively easy to find. Uh, almost any hyperdrive has a piece that I can fashion into this. And since this planet appears to be civilized and space-capable, to say nothing of its connections... Uh, you should be able to easily find the piece I can fashion. So it looks like we're heading to town. Uh, and regardless, I unless we're able to ease, uh, to obscure their lock-on procedures, we need to, or rather, you two, I need to stay here to fix the other 
superficial damage to the hyperdrive. Mm. But regardless, the whatever they use to hit us with that ion blast needs to be taken out as well. Break ion blaster, acquire new power regulator. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, we can do this. All right. Uh, so, with your mission now given, it is going to be a... Uh, you have the footpath. In fact, yeah, you know what? Instead of upgrading your survival check, I'll say that just removes the difficulty die. It's going to be a average survival check. Uh, you can either do that as a group, like we did for Spoilers of War, where one person does it and just takes boost and setbacks for other people's survivor skills, or each person can take the check. I mean, I would say we probably would be working as a team, right, Gus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then uh, who has the great... Who would have the Key. biggest... <laughs> uh, um, yeah. yeah, how many ranks in survival do you have? Uh, Key only has two ranks. Uh, but it's two yellow, two green, so it's probably still among the highest. Uh, Robo Puppy actually has three ranks in survival. Oh, okay, so how about... Uh, I forgot Key about Robo Puppy. Is with his four green, and then Robo Dog with its three yellow, and then you'll have boosts and setbacks depending on how many people have at least one rank in survival. All right, so do you want to roll that? Uh, no, you can roll that. We just need to figure out who has survival. Everyone, does anyone here not have a rank in survival? Yeah, uh, yeah. I've okay, got survival. So Saber, Joken. Anyone else? Hold on. Uh, right now. Rock. I don't think Rock has a rank in survival, right? Nope. Rock does not have a rank in survival. But then okay, again, so why would he? So that would be a boot. boot. Does Boge have a rank? Nope. Okay, so that would be one boost from Rogesh and then four setback from. Everyone else. <laughs> but yeah. does Rock really? Would Rock really need? Uh, so, what is the survival skill for? Is it just trekking through the woods yeah. along the path? Well, it's, well, no, no, no. It's to make sure that you don't mess up on your trek. Uh, and Key serves as Key and Robo Dog are guides, but you still are accountable for not, you know, tripping over a rock and falling into a ditch. Okay. Uh, and so for that average check and four setback, I will flip. So one red, one purple, four black, and then a boost from Rogesh. Oh, um, can we also get something from um, Bose? Just you know, just keeping our spirits up and stuff. <laughs> he has to. If I if, I need to hear Dart sing a merry tune <laughs> before I let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip <laughs> that started from a tropic board aboard this tiny ship. All right, all right. Well so, done. <laughs> so I get a free upgrade for that, right? No, because uh, you already have. I already let you get skilled assistance from Robo Dog. Oh, I was saying that if he could just roll like one of his um, field maneuver thingamajigs. Inspiring. Well, I, well that right, would have right? just given him a boost anyway. Wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting him give him a free one without having to roll. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okay, go. Dang it. Oh, yeah, ah. Might have been a good one to flip for. Well, you could have said that before I rolled. <laughs> I would say, like, you know, we've got enough unmatched fortunes. How about this? <laughs> Were you going to propose something, or was that going to dangle? I mean, you've got three of them, and I think it's probably really important that we make sure that we actually get this place without falling into All the right, or... let's see then. Two, if it's a two, it's a triumph. Um, so that just leaves us with a triumph, a success, and one advantage. Uh, now I have to see what the double advantage or double failure can turn into. Let's just call it a triple triumph and go with it. Well, all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you one if you if you can't possibly get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll keep. Okay, it. Um, that double failure is a blank, so now it's three successes, a triumph, and one advantage. And let's make the setback a blank. So now it's four successes, a triumph, and a single advantage. 
and now we're good. Well done. <laughs> While he's beer being, I'm going to do a quick bio break. Yeah. I'm just astounded by this. I mean, Ragesh is just thinking, geez, it's like you've been here before. I know, like, Robodog was off running one way, and he's like, nah, I don't think so. I'm just kidding. Robodog led the charge. And then there's sinister music, and he's like, wait, have you been here before? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is where we find out Key is more well, sensitive, right? To uh, guide the group, almost intuitively, uh, to uh, <clears throat> what looks like the other end of the valley. And let me just move that along. Please tell me you can see pictures. Yep. Okay, yep. good. All right, so, and this, it, it's not that deserty. It's still very pretty with trees and grass and stuff. It's lovely. But uh, as you come over the peak, and you're still a bit of a, di a, bit of a distance away from this city, uh, town, sorry, I need to pick my words carefully, uh, you can see uh, little dots moving around bigger dots sitting around, uh, but however, the most important thing is that as soon as the town comes in sight, you hear a very loud bing bong, uh, and several, uh, they look like glowing dots appear around the town, and you hear this booming voice echo across this side of the valley. Attention citizens, an unidentified vessel has breached our perimeter. Be wary of any craft or individuals that you cannot that you do not recognize. Report any discrepancy to your local security officer. Be vigilant, be safe. The council protects. That is all. Oh good. And you hear more bing bong and the glowing lights you see in the town disappear. What um species uh is it Pretty good mix. Anything in particular? Mostly humans. Does anyone have something like macro binoculars where you can zoom in from a distance? Hunting goggles. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'll let that be an average perception check because all you can really see from where you are are dots, and that would be a much harder perception check to divine. Oh, nice. all right. Uh, you are able to see that it is a very wide mix of species. Everything from Ithorians to droids are walking around here. There's like a nice little pool. You can see a few Mon Cal swimming in. Uh, and you also notice that, a town, that the town seems to be mainly concerned with a mine that you see poking out near the edge of the settlement. And droids and other kinds of species are pulling crates out of the mine and bringing them to what look like uh, a small gathering of cargo speeders, cargo skiffs, uh, positioned near the other end of the town. So basically from where you are, uh, if you're the north of the town, to the west of the town, there's the mine, and to the south of the town, there are the land speeders. Uh, and it also appears that there are several smaller land speeders scattered throughout the town, uh, however, you don't see anything that would be a spaceship, a, hyper, a hyperdrive capable spaceship. Hmm. I would say I'm really curious about what's going on with this mine. Same here. And also, we wouldn't be so close to the town, so maybe we could capture some people, interrogate them, make them disappear. No. We could just pick through whatever they're digging out of the mine. <laughs> that was dark, I guess. Well, realistically, we could potentially capture someone and have someone else uh, pose as them to get us more info. Absolutely. That's what mm -hmm. I meant by disappear. See? It's not disappearing. They'd be showing right back up. Uh, there does appear to be a continuous line of people going in and out of the mine. So spiriting one of them away it looks like it would be very difficult. You would probably have to cause a diversion first. Let's do Rock's it. Like that. Yeah. All right, so what would you want to do for diversion? Well, let's see. Oh, well, Saber could how move something. How far away are the... Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I could cause a, cause a little bit of a collapse. Nothing. Just trap a few miners, it's fine. I mean, nothing too lethal, obviously, because that's not what Saber's about anymore. <clears throat> but I mean, that's enough to cause a bit too, enough chaos, I would think. 
Sir Jeff, what were you saying though? Well, uh, I wanted to ask how far away were the lane speed, the cargo skips that were loaded up with uh, whatever they're digging out of the mine. Like, how far are they away from where everyone is, like going into the mine and exiting? Uh, it look they're actually further away than extreme. Like, I almost want to, yeah, planetary range short. Uh, you could go either through the town to quick to quickly, and I say that in quotes, get to the speeders, or you can skirt around the town, which would be easier if you want to remain undetected, but would take more time. Um, so, uh, are there people like, exiting the mine with those uh, crates of whatever they're digging out, right? Yes. Are they just loading that? Are they walking them directly into the town? Uh, some of them, it appears that some of the crates are repulsor lift capable, and they're just, like, floating them along to the skiffs. Others appear to be waiting for labor droids to make way from the town, and they appear to have, like, a small, uh, how would you say, it? assembly line kind of thing where someone brings it, brings a, court, a crate out, a, lo a labor droid comes back from the town, picks it up, goes back to the town, and then probably comes back and picks up another. Okay, um, I'd like to go, like... Uh, hmm. So how far away is that from like everybody, from all the people in the mine? Uh, that is pretty much right outside the mine entrance. So, uh, Good. it still is visible um, to everyone. Okay, I have uh, a brilliant but somewhat stupid idea. I'm going to run, get all of their attention, grab one of the repulsor lifts, and then uh, run back into the uh. Or I'm just going to run and grab all of their attentions with a leadership check. Wait, but... I'm going to... um, okay, my only issue, though, is that I think it would be better if um, that's, like, a fallback plan because okay. we shouldn't alert them at all that we're there. You oh. know what I mean? Like... Yeah, you have a point. Yeah, unless, unless um, the main plan fails, I think it's better if we can have, like, a, you know fear of an avalanche strike, and then I go and poison one guy, drag him off, um, get a skin sample, and use my doppelganger kit. I could do that, too. I could just uh, find some loose, like, rocks or something and push them down uh, sort of, like, around near the mine entrance. Yeah. So I could do that, too. Okay. Uh, so I heard a few ideas, but it looks like you're settling on... Uh, cause a distraction by either fake or for real collapsing part of the mine and just grab someone and have Rogesh take his place? Yeah. All right. Uh, how would you want to cause this collapse? With saber, with rock, with something improvised? Um, how about both of them? And, All right. So is, uh, is the mouth of the mine built into, like, the side of a cliff? Or is it just sort of like um, like a cave that just sort of goes straight down? It appears to be a cave that goes into the mountain, and it's kind of been uh, it's part. It looks like it's at least what you can see from the outside, partly natural, partly manufactured. Like on one side, you can see a lot of uh, uh, small facilities that look like they're supposed to handle remind, uh, continuing to extend the mine. Okay. But the mine itself is dug into a, a large mountainous surface, right? Yeah, it's like, sorry, it's it, it pours into the side of an incline. Okay, um, then I'm going to try. I'm would like to give a wide berth to all of the people going in out of the mine and try to scale up to where I'm a good distance above the opening of the mine, but like uh, further up on the incline. So you basically want to stand above the mine, but outside on the mountain. Yes. Uh, in order to get close enough to do what I think you're doing, you're going to have to do a stealth check because the miners are still relatively close by. So I can't. Uh, how, give, I can't. Um, I can't try to find like another like another path up. Maybe like um, a. Uh, a side perpendicular to where the mine is and climb up that and maneuver my way up and around it that way? <laughs> uh, no. You, the thing is, you would have to climb back into the valley and climb all the way back up. And while... So, so technically, yes, but that would take hours. Okay. Hmm. 
<clears throat> uh, don't you still have the stealth field generator? No, I sold that to, I think, Key. Yeah, D4 is the droid with it. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, sorry. Got confused Racist. There. <coughs> Racist? What? Well, and then D4 suddenly broke during the crash landing, and oh, Rock's the only one now, so I can't confuse Jack. Ah. But you are Jack. Hmm. Well, Rock's stealth really isn't anything good. Uh, so it seems like you need to resort to Saber. Yeah. Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. It will probably... It, hold on. You probably only need to move, like, a silhouette three amount of mass in order to cause this... Uh, enough of a collapse to scare people, which would be your diversion. Uh, so I would say, yeah, just whatever difficulty it would be to move a silhouette three object, but uh, given Saber's apprehension about not wanting to kill anyone doing this, which I assume that's what he wants, right? Mm -hmm. I'd say that would also add uh, two setback to it. <clears throat> okay. In fact, I'm also going to upgrade. Oh. Uh oh. Um, can we say that Wait. Rogesh um, goes up to Saber and um, you know it's like, so I need you to cause a distraction here and here, and he's like just, you can tell, or at least Saber can tell that Rogesh has complete faith in what Saber's doing. So hopefully he gets a boost. Uh, yeah, I'll let I'll let that be a pseudo unskilled assistance boost, but I'll also if Saber wants to do some extra RP here, I may. Uh, also give him a few more. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, there's a possibility that to do this, I'll have to harness the dark side. <laughs> we don't care! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would, would, would Rogesh even care about that? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of how Rogesh would approach this, because he really wants this to work, too. Uh... Oh, can I? Because I can kind of see that Saber looks a little bit nervous. Can I do a charm check on him, just to calm him down a little bit? It's like, sure. Don't stress out, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, sure. And I'll, I'm going to have that be, though... I'm tempted to have that be an opposed check, if only to say that it sure. has to break through his discipline in order to actually affect him. Oh, yeah. oh cool. he's cool. cool for term. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm... <laughs> Getting through the discipline it was what he got through to do the deception to begin with, so now it's now it's on to just charm. Oh, and I'll yeah. give Rogesh a boost due to the pseudo-connection between him and, uh, him and Saber at the moment. Unless that's been broken and I wasn't paying attention. No, <laughs> not yet. Not it's yet. even that's stronger weird. now. Uh, Kiss him. So, okay, so the raw cool is hard with an upgrade. Okay. Um. So would he be using nobody's fool? Uh, no, not against you. Okay. You are Regesh's fool. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, I'm gonna use congenial, and so. That, that, and then I'll upgrade. And here goes. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my. Saber leans in and kisses Rogesh. <laughs> Quiet music plays in the background. All right. Oh, okay. So you obviously succeed. Oh, jeez. Uh... Um, I'm I all think we, we oh. end up applying a lot of those triumphs to like Saber's obsession. <laughs> well, let's say this: that you know, Rigesh. I mean, Rigesh looks totally calm and collected. He is pointing out exactly where you need to like cause the disturbances, and um, you just feel the way that he has approached you. You feel like you can do anything. 
So. Yes, I'm going to say that Rogesh was able to to wipe away Saber's unsurety, removing the setback, and on top of that, enforce his confidence, giving him two free upgrades. Yeah! Oh, wow. So now okay. it's going to be a one red, two purple, and whatever you can throw at it. <clears throat> the real trick is the force dice, not the him passing. Yeah, the yeah that's, the, uh, <laughs> that's the big issue here. So I'll go ahead and flip, because why not have six yellow? Um, and then not a boost, but I got the upgrades, so... <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. So I assume I assume uh from the uh that we're at a long range, right? We wouldn't have moved in close to be able to do this. Yes. Okay. So to activate my strength upgrades, uh the initial power and the range, I'm going to have to embrace the dark side and take 3 conflict. Oh boy. <laughs> <clears throat> so Saber doesn't want to doesn't want to disappoint Rogash at all. So uh, even though he's he's hesitant about wanting, he really does want to redeem himself. Rogash has convinced him to go embrace the power to be able to do this. All right. Yep. Uh, you're a big. You hear a big crash, a boom, and then a big. <clears throat> of dust just comes out of the mine as some people covered in dust run out while others appear to be they run towards the labor droids and seem to be re trying to retask them to help load the rubble out and uh, there's confusion all around. Lar a large group of the people that were uh, working outside seem to rush towards the settlement uh, probably to get help but there are one or two people left outside the mine that appear to be not paying attention to one another all right i'm going to nab one of them i'll yeah. shoot a poison we, dart yeah say the the triumph is that one of them actually after getting covered with dust wandered pretty close to us i yeah i'm gonna say you don't even have to roll you can just snag one of the humans off all right so this is what i'm gonna do <clears throat> snag one of the humans he's got kind of a similar build to Rogesh and um, I kind of look at everybody and it's like you know uh, I kind of give everyone a look and they'll know why I'm giving this look so I throw the guy down I pull out a syringe I jab him in um, the leg and I'm just like you've got two minutes to live start talking right now I need to know your name I need to know your affiliations like go or you're not getting the antidote so deception check to scare this guy like just to oh yeah, and I'll let you. I'll let you get like uh, two boost to that because he's like in such a such a state. All right, cool. Uh, and it was sorry, and I completely forgot to throw a difficulty at you, silly me. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, just average. He's a regular old miner. He ain't got no willpower. All right, cool. Um... All right. Uh, yeah, he just he just nods wildly and says, uh, <laughs> "Oh, this will be fun." Uh, you notice that he's a he does have a somewhat uh, no, he's hard case mixed stroker or hard case with stroker. Uh, he's he's a relative of uh, Captain. Mick Stroker, <laughs> who uh, Jokin recognizes <laughs> works oh, in wow. the same branch of the Alliance military as he does. Okay, Ragesh is like trying to not laugh while this guy is freaking out and telling them his uh, He says that he'd always just been a miner on his home planet, but once his brother started getting involved in the Alliance military, he thought it best that the family move to uh, safety, and he was taken here. Uh, where he just continues to use his skills as a miner to bring out materials that he doesn't know what they do, but it goes to the spaceport. Okay, so while he's talking, um, I take out a scalpel. Before he even realizes what I do, I just like slice off just a little bit of his skin. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just like, okay, thanks a lot, buddy. And I put him to sleep. And the whole time he was talking, also what Ragesh was doing was studying his speech patterns um, to mimic his voice, and he gets to work on his doppelganger kit to look exactly like this guy. All right. Uh, does that require a check, or is it just uh, you have the needed materials and it just happens? Um, yeah, it's pretty much, it's kind of up to you, but I mean, I've got the materials, um, you know. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say you have everything you need. I, it all you probably need is time. 
So you know, okay. uh, yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you do a check just to lessen the amount of time it takes for the kit to work. Okay, so this would just be another deception check against. Um... Yeah, just a, just a hard deception check. Uh, maybe a boost for just miscellaneous, good kid, good situation, all that good stuff. Yeah, sure. You're keeping all of the mo moisture in the air out from contaminating the kit. <laughs> You're having everyone stand around the kit, waving their hands to keep it dry. <laughs> all right, so yeah, um, four successes, right. four advantages. It, it probably takes like... Ten minutes tops for the top of, for the kit to work its magic, and you now have a you now have everything you need to completely take over Harkace Mixstroker's identity. <laughs> okay. New code name for Ragesh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. Uh, yeah. So I look like this guy, and um, you know, we'll just put him somewhere tied up so that he's out. All right, you can lash him to a tree, no problem. Okay. I uh, I guess gag him too if you want. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh so you now have a identity you can assume. Uh the town seems to be in a momentary moment, silly. It seems to be caught up in a moment of chaos as it works to uh uncollapse the mine, uh dig out all the rubble that Saber caused to Cave in. I'm going to run in there and just say, oh my gosh, are you okay? The closest person that I see. And I'm going to act like I'm really addled, but I'll just try to help and just try to insinuate myself into. Yeah, I'd make that a uh, easy deception check with like three boosts because everyone's caught up in the moment and they didn't even know Harkase was gone. All right, yeah. Uh, you you uh, find that some pe that you're that you seem to actually be the one a lot of people are turning to to learn what to do. So you, uh, Harcase is apparently now the de facto leader of this operation, and probably has a lot more authority than he did before. Sweet. So I'm going to tell people we can't take or we can't cut corners on safety. Uh, we don't know if there might be another tremor. I'm not really sure. So we need to evacuate just for now. And I'm going to have some people to go in and inspect and make sure that everything is going okay inside. All right. We'll, we'll make, we'll, we'll, we'll go back into the town. We'll, we'll be waiting for you to call us our case. You uh, do that. Every, everyone seems thankful and, uh, they, they part off. Uh, the labor droids have been shut down now that apparently they have orders not to go in. Uh, and, and also, uh, hmm, yeah, uh, McStroker hears that uh, apparently in the crowd someone thinks they should uh, call the, the troopers. Uh, however, the group is gone before he are able to react to that. Okay. Uh, so while the people are away, you may not have as much time as you think. Okay. Will do. All right. So, um, yeah, as people, like, file out, I try to get everybody in there so we can start investigating inside. All right. Uh, it's quite easy. No, no one's around to stop you. Uh, you go inside, and Saber is able to see that even though he had to touch the cold darkness of that side of the force, uh, the rocks did not seem to land on anyone. Uh, in fact, uh, in order to get, while no one seems to be under the rubble, the rubble is covering up a lot of the cave entrance, mine entrance, so everyone's going to have to roll a either hard athletics or hard coordination check to weave their way around the, exactly, rebel rubble. I think the, um, uh, Burgermeister might be in here. You can do it, Boz. Oh, you cannot do it. I lied. Um, one thing I wanted to ask with Saber, even though he used uh, the dark side to move things, 
Um, would it be mitigated somewhat by the fact that he really was trying his best to not hurt people? Uh, yeah, I, I, you definitely have a point, but it's kind of, you know, do the ends justify the means? Well, I guess yeah, what I mean, I mean is that would it maybe take away one point from that three points of well, dark side? We can we can work that out at the like whenever we're actually rolling it at the end, whether yeah, there are okay. boosts out there for morality choices and that sort of thing. <clears throat> you know, Bose right. might just laid outside the mine. Uh, was the force points for like enhance? Uh, it was. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, saber. Um, actually decides not to use the dark side, so he does not succeed. All right. Uh, so everyone who passed is able to slip into the rubble, but uh, the people that failed are gonna ha- are gonna take a base if they still want to get inside. I guess when they get meet with the resistance, they can just throw up their hands and say, "I'll I'll wait out here." But if you want to keep going, you're gonna have to take uh, five strain. Can I do just? And this is purely just for RP but it would fit with this. Can I use my um, reroll um, for coordination, actually, but to actually try to grab Saber before he falls? So, like, I'm I'm going to just spend my reroll, my one session reroll, or once per session. If you I, know I know it seems like a throwaway, but a just... Kind wink. <laughs> no, but, you know, I think in, like, in this moment, you know, Saber totally helped this plan, so, you know... Sure, gonna look sure, out for I'll allow it. I shall allow this. So, can I roll my coordination to make sure that I'm able to grab him? You can give him skilled assistance. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, you've got five coordination now. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, how did this actually come out? Can you remove a difficulty die from coordination? Because you actually only rolled average. Oh, I only rolled average? Yeah, sorry. I should have rolled hard. I failed even more. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Yep. All right. With uh, Rogesh's nice, uh, kindly jerking around the rubble, you're able, able to emerge unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boz is just going to wait outside, I think. After not getting in the first time, he's not a huge fan of caves, so... Uh, just look pretty. Yeah. Uh, does he want to take? Uh, does he want to, after giving up, maybe take up the position of watchdog? Yeah, he'll just hang out there. He's not right. really thinking this through fully, but he'll just be at the entrance. All right. Uh, in the distance, you can see that the townsfolk have fully returned to the town. Oh dear, I need to pick better names for this place. <laughs> Uh, uh, however, there are a few dots. They, a few of the people dots have apparently gone towards the larger. Uh, cargo speeders, and they appear to be talking to some dots that have been standing around the speeders for quite some time. At the moment, nothing, they haven't moved, but they are together. Well, that's promising. Um, Maybe what we should, hmm, what do we find while we're inside? Uh, Once you get past the caved-in part, uh, you notice uh, yeah, uh, you notice there are some droids that appear to be confused, but they're very. Sen- it's like they're they're mining droids, only really built for the past of, uh, built for the job of cutting down rocks. They appear confused, but it's not like they can really tattle on you. Uh, some of them don't even have eyes; they have like mineral sensors. Um, uh, so- maybe we can try to. Well, so scanning the minerals, can we identify the mineral or minerals? Uh, you notice that this appears to be uh, the mine has several elements that appear to contribute to the construction of uh, whatever basic material is it parasteel? Durasteel? Yeah, durasteel. Uh, it appears that this mine is mainly composed of elements used to create uh, durasteel. All right. Uh, there is you don't detect anything rare enough in a noticeable quantity. Hmm. Okay. Well, if I mean, should we do a perception check before we leave, or? Oh, I'll let you do a perception check. Uh, do do I already gave you what you would see? So. Hard, but you can also increase the difficulty beyond that to pick up more stuff. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. Well, you know what? What the hell? I'm going to put it up to Daunting. 
And have Key do it or help out. Oh right, yeah. Key, what's your perception? Um, three yellow, one green. Nice. Actually, why don't you roll with Adra? I'm gonna quickly walk. Oh, up that's Robo Puppy. You're deciding this. What was that, Key? I said, "Oh, that's Robo Puppy." Because the yeah. name. And the... Yes. Uh, so I mean, uh, she has three ranks. I I don't know, but I mean, I don't know if that's if you just have ba base better. Well, Key has four cunning and three ranks in perception. Yeah, she can't add anything. I'll I'll give you a boost die then. Okay. What difficulty did you think? Um, I said let's put it up to Dante and maybe flip it just to see if we can get something cool. Might as well. Sure. Yep. Oh. Nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I, actually, if you used unmatched fortune, could you get this to a quadruple? Um, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> just for when Jack comes back just <laughs> no. yeah because we don't I've really have to worry listening. about we don't have to worry about the successes issue like <laughs> wait you can reach the bathroom with your headset I am fully up to whatever you want do we want to see if we can get more? <laughs> no, I think two triumphs should be enough. Um, but okay. yeah, what do we... We did a daunting, so... All right, you are able to locate, for one, uh, that uh, the, uh, the Adra, right? That's the name of the robo-dog? Yes. Is able to detect that actually a large group of miners that were deeper in have moved to one of these safe bunkers created just for the purpose of cavens. Uh, they appear to be sticking around there, so unless you want to actually deal with them, you can easily avoid them. Right. Uh, for the triumphs, he actually goes back and looks at the rubble and sees that a. Uh, I want to get the model number right. Just regular Taskmaster, regular droid. Uh. Ah, oh, man, I can't get the name of it so quickly. But anyway, uh, you notice that a apparent Taskmaster-level intelligence droid was actually caught in the rebel. Its head is poking out, and the lights appear to be on, but it doesn't... See, it, it, it's been murmuring something in binary. Uh, however, it, it... Ah, screw that. Uh, knowing... What you know about droids, no matter how much he actually does know about droids, uh, this Taskmaster droid probably has a lot of data about this mining operation and what it contributes to in its memory banks. Yeah, let's crack into this. Yeah, Key, do you want to tag team this slicing? Well, hold on. Why don't we just ask it? Hmm. You're going to have to dig it up uh, somewhat if you actually want to get it on its feet and talk to it. Well, um, can I understand what it's murmuring in binary? It appears to be relaying the last set of commands it was trying to give to the mining droids before the cave-in started. What uh, are those commands? Move to uh, stream 04 to mine assets 5 through 07 and bring them to exit point for delivery to center. And it just keeps repeating that. Okay, I'll relay that to the group. Like that's what it's murmuring. It's, uh, it seems to be stuck stuck in some sort of loop. So what does that mean? It means it's probably been somewhat damaged by the fact a bunch of rocks fell on it. <laughs> Saber looks like he's sorry. It's all right, Saber. It, uh, this thing was probably bound to happen. Um. So, like, so if it just keeps looping, I'll, uh, I'll try. I'll start like um, uncovering it, like moving the rubble off of it. All right, uh, it's gonna be eh, for you. I'd say a hard athletics check. Joking will help move rocks. It's a boost. All right, hold on. I found a picture. It's one of these kinds of droids. Yes, uh, the organics appear to just be waiting out the cave-in. Uh, 
All right, uh, you're able to dig out the droid. Uh, you, it, it bo- its body appears to be damaged, but actually in workable shape. It just appeared to be too weak to climb itself out of the rubble. Uh, the head has it is a large dent in the head. Uh, however, it otherwise looks like with uh, a good oil bath and some elbow grease, you could probably get the droid back up and running. I'll bring it over to uh, to Jokin. All right. I guess Jokin can identify himself as a rebel. Uh, well, the droid is still repeating its last oh. thing. Uh, it. Let's fix it. Yeah, if you want to fix the droid and return it to normal, and I say in quotes, uh, that's going to be a mechanics check initially before you can do anything with it, talk to it, or even slice into it. But you can also, if you want, to ignore its damage and just slice directly into its brain which will get you the information you need. What is the difficulty of the mechanics check? Uh, the mechanics check to fix it is going to be... Uh, yeah, uh, to fix its head would be daunting. All right. Or rather new... hard with Oops. three setback because you don't want to damage its head. Hard with three setback, which yes. means hard with two setbacks. Anyone want to help me? Key can help. I mean, if it's just unskilled, I assume you have the most ranks here. Yeah, four and four. Nice. Yeah, you could get us two boosts. All right, you're able to crack open the head skillfully uh, and rewire a lot of the electronics that appear to be damaged by the dent, and you're even able to pop out the dent, too. So it looks somewhat the same, although the paint's been scratched, and that can't be helped. Uh, once you close everything back up and reactivate the droid, it goes, Cave-in at mine entrance! Cave-in at mine entrance! Cave-in at mine entrance! Quick! All all subjects in 04 to 05, resort to bunker 34. Everyone else, leave! I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, throw my hand and go, whoa, whoa, it's okay, you're safe. The cave-in's done, everyone's evacuated, you're all right. Unidentified individuals. Unidentified individuals. Oh, um, no, no, no. It's okay. These are inspectors. Hard, hard case here. Hard case here. I draw the droid's attention. Oh, unit hard case. It is good to see you survive the mine collapse. Um, I... please strike the last two seconds from your memory, or the last like, fifteen seconds from your memory ranks. <laughs> I cannot delete from memory. However, it appears my long-range transmitter is damaged anyway. Wonderful. So everything is fine. Everything is <laughs> wonderful. Fine. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's <laughs> a good point. I'm gonna say it's going to be a deception check. Uh, with it's gonna be two red, two red deception. And the fact that you're able to do this is your identity. So no boost from that. All right. Ooh, uh, nice. nice. Yeah. A droid looks at each individual person uh, individually and uh, <laughs> beeps and chirps and like inspectors logged into database. Welcome to mine zero four on continent O five. Uh, so um, we need to make sure that your memory banks are working or functional after the accident. Please restate to the um, fullest of your ability your specifications and mission here. I am EV0965. I am a mine taskmaster administer to this facility to uh, cr- uh, better make the mining process more efficient than it was after initial colonization and terraforming. I have caused the mine's output to increase by 75%, and I have streamlined the transition process to the spaceport in uh, Lapa. And, um, okay. Uh, What other questions do you think we should ask? Maybe about power sources on the planet. Yeah. Uh, who? What operation is this? Like, uh, have we actually confirmed that the? We know oh, that right. the rebellion ships attacked us, but yeah, you know. So, would you want to ask that then? Uh, yeah, I'll just say, and you know, for confirmation, please detail the uh, the identity of 
uh, I'm not wording this correctly, but um, the oh, your your affiliation. Please identify all affiliations. I am currently an operator within the supply supply corps of the Alliance to Restore the Republic. Okay. Most of the planet's jurisdiction is under this branch of the Alliance. Can we ask about, uh, like, like, what is, like, for the record, please state the reason for the, not embargo, but the, I guess kind of the embargo on the planet, or the, the orbital defenses. For the heightened security. Yeah. This planet is chartered as a safe world for the Alliance to restore the Republic. It is uh, dictated as a priority zero protective asset for the Alliance. No unauthorized individuals may cross the protective barrier. If they find the planet, all standing orders are to terminate on site. What is the security clearance needed by fellow um, rebellion um, agents? It must be transmitted by either the Admiral of the Supply Corps or directly from High Command. Okay. All right. I think that we, we got all the info that we need. We should probably get out of here before um, the troops um, move. Maybe the location of the ion blaster? Yes. Ion cannon? Orbital Events Asset 01. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I prepared yeah, he would know it since he's dictated as an efficiency droid. He probably moves around. Anyway, Orbital Defense Asset 01 is located on the outskirts of La Pa. Seems uh, like and La you La know from what he said before, be there is a spaceport in La Pa as well. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Designated capital of this planet. What's the distance to the capital from where we are now? The distance uh, from La Pa to uh, Settlement 05 is approximately 300 kilometers. All right, time to <laughs> get those jets on land speeders. Where can we find the Supply Corps Admiral? The Supply Corps at. Do I want to name him? Nah. Supply Admiral is located not on world. I'm not aware of his presence All right. or his location. Thank you. You've been very helpful. It looks like you are functioning as intended. Thank you. I will now, res I will now report to the safety bunkers to uh, inform all miners that evacuation shall proceed as normal. And then he walks further down the tunnel. Uh, at this time, I'm going to cut to Boge. You can now easily tell that the dots around the speeders are approaching. Uh, and uh, now that they've gotten closer, you can tell that they're armed. Uh, they have not seen you yet, but they do appear to be approaching the mine uh, in relative haste. They appear to... They're probably here to help with the cave-in, but they're on their way. Um, he'll yell in the opening, Guys, we've got company. All right, and... I'm going to get out there quick. Yeah. All right, uh, it's going to be another, what was your specifically, hard coordination check to get out? Oops. Yeah, hard coordination to get through the breach again, but I'll give you a boost die because it's now a bit more familiar territory. I was going to ask about that. <laughs> Whoa, boy. All right, yeah, it's thre just, take, just take throw the strain. And can we get out there in time so that these guys can get out of sight? But I'm I'm still in. But so I can like talk these guys down while they get out of the way and out of sight. Depends on how many threat they roll. Yeah. Um. So. Oh yeah, Key certainly can. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got my my force pips. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to upgrade this for saber? Sure, I gotta <laughs> let that destiny flow. Ooh. Um, so that is. Uh, you can still get out, but you're gonna have to take strain for it. No, I'll flip and take two strain to succeed. All right. With an advantage. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, I'll right. yeah, no, 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 right. say okay. that's enough time for you to quickly duck behind a couple of rocks that rolled out of the cave. And the rocks and athletics to get out, it's hard, right? Yes, but with the boost. Okay. With a boost. Excellent. Nice. Very, yeah, very uh, nice. Rock can easily roll out and, just... and probably grab Jokin and hide him behind some rocks, too. Yeah. Or, uh, was that everyone who was in the cave? Did they are, yeah. everyone already roll? I, I guess we can just assume Boge ran ran with us to behind the rocks. Yeah, I'd say that triumphs enough for Rock to corral anyone who didn't get out fast enough on their own time behind some cover. So we don't need to stealth then? We're just safe and cover? Yes, uh, okay. until unless they start searching, uh, for the moment you are hidden from their perspective. Uh, and you and now Harkase, Rogesh, notices that it is now about uh, 13 armed men of a varying species approach, led by Amon Calamari. Uh, oh, God. They, they take up... They, quickly try to move towards the mine, and they immediately all of the armed troopers holster their weapons behind their backs and start to move towards the mine. They appear to bring out some equipment and start digging and start chipping away at the cave-in. The Mon Cal walks up to you and says, Oh, uh, yeah, he wouldn't know you. Uh, report, miner. So I start to cough, and I'm pretending that I've got dust in my lungs, so I'm like... <coughs> And I lift up a finger just like one moment. <coughs> hard, hard case here. Don't worry. Everyone's safe. Minimal damage. We got everyone to safety. Uh, we're just not sure if there is danger from another slide. But so far, minor damage, minimal disruption to the operation. We can get everything back up and running quite soon. Good, good. I'll have, I'll have the miners in town retash the... Oh god, it's coming across Nixon. We have the fever droids to, dr to dig up the rubble, and we should be able to get back on schedule. Do you? Absolutely, uh, and so I actually reach out my hand. It's like, hard case, by the way, sir. Thanks for coming oh, so quickly. Yes, I'm uh, Lieutenant... Lieutenant <laughs> Nixon! No, it's, it's Lieutenant... It's Lieutenant... Uh, Agnew? I'm Lieutenant, <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Nixon, and I'm not here to steal anything. Uh, do you think there'd be enough time for us to finish the uh, final parts of the shipment before tonight, or should we just send what we have to the spaceport? Uh, I think um, we can probably wait just a bit. Might as well, we can get everything back and running. Might as well give a full shipment, because they'll probably say, why isn't this full? Wait, wait, I think this is giving us an opportunity to just leave now on the shipments. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, maybe for Harkes, but the rest of you... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the difficulty. Well, actually, maybe I should go there first and kind of just plant myself in. What do you guys think? Um, I don't think we should be too far, you know, eliminate on site. So, um, oh, we saber worried. That's sweet. Mm. No, but seriously. So, um, I don't want to meta this too much, but I'm kind of like, I wonder which one Jack wants us to do. All right, so shipment going immediately. Oh, Ben, it's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, what what do you guys think? Because I think that um, so when he says the shipment right now, um, it's pretty obvious that this would just be a really large shipment. We could probably sneak people onto it, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, there are a few crates that people left behind uh, when the mine collapsed and they ran off. However, they are currently filled with mine stuff. So if you want to hide people in them, you need to empty them out first. Oh, okay. Let's not do that one. 
Well, the only problem though is that if we take land speeders, then there will be a theft reported of land speeders. So I think it probably would be best to just hide ourselves um, in in a shipment, some shape or form, so that there's no trace of us. At the same time, we want to be able to get in and out quickly. <clears throat> If you spend a destiny point, I could give you a clue. Can't Bows just make friends with everyone? Bows can't uh, account for himself. All right, destiny point flipped. All right, uh, the troopers seem more concerned with empty out the empty out the mind, while Nixon is the only one. Nixon is the only one who appears to be concerned with completing the shipment. Uh, Hard case as a miner could probably offer up his services in uh, quickly expediting the current shipment to Lopa in time to pick up the rest uh, tonight when the cave-in empties out. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Don't worry, sir. We can make this happen. I'll I will gladly volunteer to take the shipment. Oh, good. I, I'll need to remain here to oversee the excavation efforts, especially once those damn droids get here, he says, looking back, and the loading droids are ticking their sweet-ass time getting back from the town. Rock will curse in binary under his breath. <laughs> Who's there? Quick, roll a stealth check. <laughs> kidding, kidding. All right. Yes, uh, Nixon and the troopers seem to be concerned more with excavating than they are uh, previously guarding the land speeders, and Hard Case, as a miner, has full right to approach them. Okay, so, so all you really need, uh, so all you really need to do is avoid the crowd of people that are now returning to help dig out the mine, which uh, isn't that hard. They're still a distance away. I'm actually directing them like in opposite directions from where these guys are so that they can just get in. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no roll needed. Everyone makes it to the land speeders that are now currently unmanned. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, currently full of cargo. Uh, everyone can get on two. Uh, you need to dump some of it in order to fit everyone on one cargo skiff. All right, I pad the seat behind me. Hey, Saber. <laughs> Joking will drive. Rock will right. crouch and attempt to look inconspicuous. Does everyone have an idea then? Uh, yeah. Saber with Rogash and Rock with Joken. How are Bojan Key splitting up? So are we doing the two speeders then? It's three speeders. That eh, it could be three if you want. Oh, I thought it was like multiple. Okay. Well, it's like min it's minimum if you don't dump any of the cargo. Two if you want to fit everyone as close together as possible. However, each one of you could probably take one can pilot one speeder, uh, and that's actually all of them. Oh yeah, why don't we just do that then? Because mm, it'll probably end badly, but let's do it. <laughs> but we'd have to each pilot our own then? Yes. Is everyone good at piloting? Oh, yeah, so maybe not. Um, what, yeah, why don't we just split it up into three so that we've got good pilots for each? Mm. So I, th I think we've got it. Um, we've got uh, Jokin, Key, and Ragesh are all piloting. All right. All of you, roll me one easy piloting check. <laughs> In fact, uh, hold up. No, don't. No one else roll. I'm gonna flip for the next two. Can I? Can I count that one? Because that's really nice. I'm not. I'm only flipping for Ogesh and Boj. You got in because you're quick. <laughs> you got your roll. <laughs> <gasps> no. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Joking and Key are able to very quickly. In fact, you know what? For so many successes, I'm going to say that quickly, uh, Rogesh nicks uh, a very, a very he nicks a sapling, and it causes the skiff to quickly power down into safety mode. Uh, you're able to start it back up, however, unsure of yourself, Key, it just brings out some. Um, uh, Bindings and hitches your skiff to his, so he's able to drive. He's able to drive you in. 
<laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I guess she's a little embarrassed. And I just go, shut up, joking. Yeah, right in front of Saber. You're... <laughs> yeah, Joker will definitely give a little, like, the equivalent of a little wing waggle. <laughs> all right, and so, I don't even know why I hit all of these. You you make it to, you know, you travel the 300 kilometers, the ship actually tells you which way to go, and you make it to La Paz. And that's the one at the top? Yeah, hold on, it's the whole thing, but I can't scroll down. There we go. What the... F oh, uh, the frickin' fog of war just broke. There we go. You should see three pictures now total. I only see two. Uh, have you moved us to that? Oh, yeah, you might... Oh, no, I didn't. Silly me. There we go. I see three. Oh, okay. Okay, three so pictures. what you what you see is that in the... It's of kind of an urban sprawl, but in the center, it looks like, you know, just any city you expect to see this in the outer rim. You know, clean enough, but kind, but still kind of out in the... Kind of uh, low to the ground and more spread out than it is built up. And then actually on the periphery of the town, you see what pretty much looks like starship wreckage, broken down and kind of inhabited. Uh, as you bring the skiffs in, you notice that uh, there are plenty of people milling around the outside. However, the currently the way further into the town appears to be guarded by troopers. It look like it looks like a checkpoint. They're checking pe their ch people are pulling out data pads for a moment, showing them to the troopers before they allow them to go further in. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. I'm going to try to lie to these guys. I will hand them over hard cases information, but I'll say to their guys, sorry, there was an accident. Um, there was a partial cave-in, and we're here on behalf of um, Lieutenant Nixon to make sure the shipment gets in as quickly as possible. Uh, my compatriots here lost uh, some of their identification during that uh, cave-in, and we were rushed to get here as soon quickly as possible. Oh, uh, it's not pretty. Uh, no, I don't want to do Nixon. He's not here. Uh, the guard looks at the data pad and nods, and he goes, Normally I'd let something like this go by. I don't really feel like impressing upon people. However, the uh, appearance of that ship uh, up the security, I'm, I'm afraid I can't let... I, I'm not... Yeah, the guy sighs and just says, I'm not going to go through all the effort of reporting you just for forgetting some passes, but I can't let these other guys through the checkpoint. I can let you hitch these uh, skiffs together and ride them in, but these guys have to stay out here. Okay. Um, hmm. That's fine. We've got some fun stories to tell. You ever hear about a Mantillian sav rip? Because, boy, do I got tales for you. Now, a lot of people fall asleep during these, but I personally find them very fascinating. <laughs> All right. Uh, the the guard seems somewhat intrigued, looking for any kind of distraction from his boring job of just checking identification. And so he seems uh, intrigued enough. Uh, go ahead. Okay, and since it's going to be a group of them, go ahead and roll me a charm check of... Let's see. That's against cool. And that's going to be one, two, three, four... Yeah, I'm going to say six of them. So uh, two red, three purple. Oof. You can do right. it. In um, fact, I actually make it th uh, three red, two purple. Saber might be able to make them... Uh, how friendly... They seem pretty friendly, though, right? They're not they, really... Well, it's like... It, it, they seem more bored than any sort of emotion uh, emotion towards you it's like they don't they don't feel like going through all the paperwork of reporting you just for not bringing your badge in but they also it's like just just go away so uh, is would there be any benefit to sort of trying to make them feel more positive emotions like happiness and friendliness I'd say yeah. that gives some boost die to uh, Boge's story if he wants to keep telling it yeah. Saber will uh, sort of, uh, you know, maneuver, maneuver in close next uh, to where um, Boge is obviously distracting them and try to influence them. He can't. Okay. <laughs> he feels the dark side pulling him in, and so he pulls back, realizing that he can't 
like any emotion that he would try to instill in them would be negative at this point. Rage. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they look, you know, it's just six of them, and they don't appear to be that well armed. Eh, we'll try talking. All right, I'm going to roll it. <laughs> That's All right, a lot about, of blank you know, about, about a good, you know, just two minutes into the story, the guy just shakes his head and waves his hand and says, "Just move along." I mean, no, move along, but he he's ushering you to move back away from the checkpoint. Oh, um, would uh, would there be some boost though? Because I mean, look, we've got this huge shipment. We got here. We're all dusty from a cave in. Um, would my deception if I rolled a deception could I use that to give him bonuses to that check mm. was there still an unskilled boost I guess Saber could have well no he would just been... I, I, I go ahead and let you say you can get you can get a boost with unskilled assistance there one boost I <laughs> and Boge only has two what if it's charm. unskilled from key you're yeah, going to have to level what charm. he would do to provide that assistance. He is a charming young lad. <laughs> he exudes charm and youth. So would he walk up to the trooper and say, Please, Mr. Trooper, we got stuff we got to move in. It's more that he's revving his bike. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, or maybe he's dismissive. just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that make the that make the trooper ask, why do you have a 16 year old working as a miner? Yeah, uh, 16. He's a miner, miner. Oh no. <laughs> Def definitely not younger than 16. No, we did it mean. solely for the pun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what our detachment does. We hire based on puns. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let you have that unskilled assistance one boost die, but I didn't get good reasoning from Key. Funny stuff, but not good reasoning. Am I just rolling one boost die then? So yeah. my deception wouldn't have added another boost die. Uh, you know, you have a point with that roll, but as far as the guy can tell. Even if they don't, even if you have a good reason for them not having their identification, he's still not supposed to let them through. So it's more like you're going to have to give them a good reason to let them through rather than just giving up, giving a good excuse to got let it, them through. Got it. Got it. Um, I'll just say, listen, buddy, we just dealt with the cave-in, and now we've got. I mean, we've got to, we've got to be quick with this shipment. I can't do this all by myself. I need my workers. Oh, you could actually even tell them to radio back to the yeah, lieutenant. Yeah, radio back to Nixon. Lieutenant Nixon. He can he can vouch for me. Uh, Yeah, but he can radio back and Nixon's going to say, well, hard case I let in, but he didn't know about the rest of you. And uh, I'll just shout over the comm link. I had to get some workers, duh. Oh, uh, well, I thought all the workers were working here at the mine to help me take the... Oh, how many skiffs did they bring? The trooper says three. It's like, oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, I'll go... I'll let, I'll let that be your deception check, and it's going to be... That was their cool, their discipline... Ooh, I th yeah, it's going to have to be five purple. Because you're breaking regulations here, especially since this planet's supposed to be so super safe. What's their cool, that's by the way? Easier than their cool, jeez. Well, their cool is what I thought. That's what he was rolling. Oh, the got it. Okay, so um, yeah, here goes. Yeesh! I'm definitely gonna roll for that. Oh yeah, and you can uh, put a boost die behind that for putting Nixon in it. Okay, so Nixon's in it. Uh, can I get unskilled assistance from Key? <laughs> I'm gonna. I only allow it if he can give me a good reason for it. All right, Key, you can do it. Well, I, I don't think I have reasons to lie if I have no reason to charm. Well, what if we? What if you said this is just you know? Look, we had to go so quickly. I even had to grab this kid to help out. <laughs> but then he just waves the minor minor. D does he? 
does he call himself the minor minor or is that just something he lets the group troopers infer oh he yeah they they can just infer that the all minor, right uh, yeah that's I'll let you use the two boosts but I would have really just approved it he had used the minor minor because that would have got him laughing <laughs> right con he does it <laughs> <laughs> not when I already said that. All right, so I've got three boosts. Um, here goes. Phew. All right. Uh, that. Okay. Well, that will go over. <laughs> <laughs> they will just. Oh, you know, I should have given you a setback for that bad story, but whatever. Yeah, the, the trooper just goes, I want to see you through this checkpoint leaving when you're done so I can confirm. Absolutely. All right, and he, then he just waves you on. The gates open, and you can get into the slightly nicer part of the city you see in the second picture. So as we're leaving, I kind of give a joke in this, like, you know, snide look, and I look at the guards. For the Alliance! <laughs> uh, the, there's a Tredotion in the back that actually pumps his arm at that. It's like, yeah, for Alliance! Whoa, and Then I off. turn back around, I'm just rolling my eyes. Oh, <laughs> actually... Uh, yeah, so you're able to get in. Uh, the skiff seems to be direct... Oh, yeah, the skiff directs you almost com right to the spaceport, since that's where this stuff is supposed to be, which is actually featured in the uh, last picture at the bottom. It appears to be a moderately sized complex, uh, but it doesn't actually have... It's not, you know, there, are, there aren't parking spaces around it. It seems to only have three spaces on top of the building for two Silhouette 4 ships and a Silhouette 5 ship. And there actually appears to be a two YT series freighters on both the wings of the building. Like over here and uh, over here hidden by the satellite dish. Uh, and so it appear it directs you to a warehouse where people just you know the, mostly labor droids just shuffle around moving crates here and there. Uh, you can easily pull in and they'll just start servicing your skiffs too. Uh, okay. So for the moment you are in the spaceport. All you need to do is get to the ships to accomplish one of your objectives. Let's do it. Uh, the warehouse is on the bottom floor and the freighters are on the roof. So you're going to have to either find a not well s surveyed part of the building and climb it or go through the building itself. Uh, and, you're also, and you're probably going to have the same problem you had at the checkpoint with your assistants unable to give good account of themselves. Yeah. And what's the distance to the top? Uh, to the top would be... I think from the yeah medium distance from the ground to the roof. Saber can jump it. Nice. <laughs> um, but the question is, what does he do when he gets up there? Force moves everyone else up. <laughs> uh -huh. Just everything comes flying off of the roof. <laughs> I have an idea. I like it. I still have that. I still have that climbing kit. We can give uh, um, Saber one like one end of the rope. Have him force jump up there, and then we can all use the other end to climb up. That's a perfectly sound strategy, but the spaceport is in a, in a busy part of town. <laughs> so you're going to have to worry about people seeing not, on, not only people climbing up the side of the spaceport, but also a person moving them with his mind. <laughs> okay. Um, Someone just jumping up there. <laughs> yeah, so... It's just a kitty cat. It's fine. They can jump high. No. Oh no, he's gonna knock the freighter off the roof. Oh no! <laughs> All right. It's like a cat with a, a glass of water on a table. Exactly. So like everyone's looking. Everyone looks at him, and he looks back at them, and he stops for a second, and then his arm just reaches <laughs> out, and the freighter falls over. So this is pretty much you saying that it's probably <laughs> like easier overall for us just to go through the building. Well, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that one is probably half stealth, half athletics, while the other one is probably a lot more stealth and lying. Oh, I'm sure things. Jokin's credentials would still not be helpful yet because he's not cleared to be on this planet. Mm, nope. Right. right, okay. Just wanted to check. New player. Yeah. Key, go pickpocket us some credentials. Oh. I can do that. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, Key would have to go in solo then, unless Harcase wants to try and uh, follow him. Yeah, and I can't imagine there are any Zygerians on this planet, so... Nope. <laughs> you haven't seen a single damn one in your entire time here. I mean, you see almost every other species, you know, in the galaxy, not a single Zygerian. Uh, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll start walking in just with Key, and I'm just talking to him. Look, you know, if you're going to become, you know, a miner, it's more than just mining. You need to, you know, make sure that you get with it in terms of scheduling and making sure that I'm just going into all this babble. Like I'm trying, like I'm talking to an apprentice as I'm walking through the hall. Uh, as you're still on the first floor, that uh, stage business is enough for most people who are walking by. Uh, however, you also don't seem to see anything like everyone else just looks like they're grunt workers and probably wouldn't be allowed that much further into the facility. Right. Uh, however, you do end up what appears to be the central reception area of the spaceport. And uh, along with a bunch of people milling about and a nice-looking secretary at the front desk, there also appears to be a directory. I'm going to lean over and um, start flirting with the secretary while Key does stealthy stuff. All right. Uh, before I do that for the secretary, what would Key actually do? Well, where would we want to get the stuff? From the secretary or, like, go into an office or something? Missed that bit. I would say probably both, actually. As Get as much as we can from, you know... A, a lot of the people here look like there might be... Uh, transients. Again, more people that you don't think would be allowed that much further in the facility than you are now. So uh, maybe so. if I can get past the receptionist and then we can try to find something. Maybe. Uh, Alright. Well, then I guess while you have Key just ducking under the desk, unless you want to try and explain his uh, him, uh, the receptionist is just going to look at you and smile. It's like, oh, yes, I we got your report from the checkpoint about bringing in the uh, first part of the mining shipment from Settlement 05. She frowns a bit. Uh, shame about that mine collapse, but I'm glad no one was hurt. The um, uh, director would... Uh, the director and Miss uh, Olia certainly distress over the fate of all of our workers. Well, it's a good thing that Harcase is on the case because no one got hurt. She, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she... Nervously chuckles. Yeah, exactly. She <laughs> chuckles nervously and kind of arranges a few of her pens and styluses about and she looks back up to you and is like, oh, so what does, what do we, uh, we already received the shipment, so wh why are you here? Um, quick, everyone, metagame. <laughs> why am I here? Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of a good excuse to get up into the ship. Um, Swoop, kiss her, and run. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, oh, wait, I wanted to, um, supervise the actual shipment like into the ships themselves uh, just because um, I start using some like minor techno babble about how some of the minerals are a little bit volatile and because of the accident some of them were disturbed more than they normally would and just for my own peace of mind I just want to make sure everything goes smoothly and I would like to supervise that part of the operation as well wink wink all right I'll put that on hold for just a second, but she's going to ask for your identification, which you did get from Harcase yes. uh, when you looted his, looted his not body. Uh, and she runs it through and she frowns and goes, oh, uh, I'm, af well, uh, I'm afraid I cannot give you clearance to get up to the flight deck. The um, uh, freighter crew, only the freighter crews are allowed up there. Uh, I and totally then... get it, but then I look down and, you know, this is my assistant and, you know, he's he's like... He's like a son to me, and I promised him that he would be able to take a look at a YT 1400, 2400. <laughs> and it would just, it would mean the world to me if we could just, you know, if he could see that as I'm supervising. And she um, uh, looks down. She appears to think that he is kind of cute for a kid. Uh, then she looks. Up, most kids are ugly. <laughs> it, 
Yeah, exactly. Don't you don't you know? Especially all the kids <laughs> here. Jeez. Uh, and she is going to smile a bit and. Uh, all right. So uh, from this, I'll let Key give you his unskilled assistance, and for your deception check for all of this, uh, it's going to be. Let's see. What is and it's against discipline, right? Just before I forget oh. anything. All right. And that's off willpower. Okay, so it's just going to be two red and a purple. And uh, along with the boost from unskilled assistance, it's going to also be... Actually, you know what? It's going to be three red to go back over all that because I'll spend a misty oh point for that. Boy. And then it's going to be ignoring the unskilled assistance boosts. One setback... Actually, two setback for improper identification. Well, improper clearance. Uh, but also... Uh, two boosts for what you were saying about the volatile shipment because she uh, is not entirely aware of what comes out of the mine. Okay. Um, I remove one setback, so it's just so it's four boosts and one setback on top of the um, three red, right? Yes. All right. Oh, gosh, here goes. Whew. All right. She uh, smiles and nods and says, uh, I'll, I'm, I can... If you're... Training an apprentice, I, I guess I can give you a temporary uh, clearance to the flight deck. However, uh, it will be up to the crew themselves if you actually want to get on the ship. Uh, it looks like your uh, work is being transit, uh, being sent to the expedited. Uh, yeah, it's being set. It's being set. Oh my God, the tongue. Hold on. It's being sent to the expedited on uh, flight deck two. And she points to the elevator and says, go up to floor three and uh, follow the hall and go turn to the left and follow the hallway all the way to the end. If anyone asks questions, just show them this part of your identification. And she uh, plugs in your data pad for a minute and types a few things on it and then hands it back to you. It's like, as long as you don't stay, uh, stay up there for more than an hour, uh, nobody should ask questions. Uh, however, when she gets down to a hushed tone as she looks around, uh, making sure apparently someone isn't in the lobby, the captain of the expedited is a quite an ornery man. Uh, I don't recommend pushing him for getting on board his ship. I, I think you might be better off just watching your pallets get into the cargo bay from the outside. I appreciate the advice, and uh, so yeah, I smile at her and um, make my way. All right, uh, and so you and Key are able to make it to flight deck two with little difficulty. Yay! And uh, there you see the a YT insert number here. Well, let's make it a thirteen hundred for nostalgia shake. Uh, it looks a bit cleaner than the more famous YT thirteen hundred and not all the panels are missing. However, you do see that there are a couple of Wookiees and a, a couple of droids moving in boxes that you remember are from the ones you brought in okay. onto the ship's cargo bay. And standing and watching it all is one bald human whose face has plenty of scars and a, a cybernetic eye. Okay. Um, hmm. How do you want to do this, Key? Oh, and he currently hasn't noticed you. Yeah. It's very loud on the flight deck. Looks like the engines are still on. Because I want to see if maybe I can distract him so that you can sneak in. And uh, how big is the part that he needs to get for Balkan? It, it fit in Balkan's hand. Okay. So Great. It's it's like big. It's about as big. It's as big but thicker than a pen. So it's very easy to get and hide. <laughs> Yeah, distraction sounds good to me. <laughs> or I'm thinking either distraction or, yeah, I guess asking him and trying to do the heartstrings is not going to work on this guy, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, let, let, let's do that. I'm going to walk up to the guy, and but Key's not going to be with me. I'm going to we'll see if Key can actually sneak onto the ship while I talk yeah, to him. Yeah, so I'll roll a stealth whenever. 
All right. Uh, so how do you... I assume you approach the ornery captain, as you can assume. Uh, yeah, and just say, you know, sorry that this shipment isn't completely full. We had an accident. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we got here as fast as we could, but this is all that we could bring. Uh, you damn miners know nothing of timetables. And his, you see his eye roll, but his cybernetic eye stays fixed on you, although you think it's capable of rolling by itself. Uh, and he looks back at his ship for a minute. Don't you understand that the Alliance needs these uh, min uh, materials to continue the war efforts, yet all you people in your settlements all think about how cushy you have it here on this planet, protected from all the ills of the galaxy? Oh, that just, like, Rogesh, he... That pisses him off. He, like, rears back. My family died because of the Empire. How dare you say that to me? I'm doing everything that I can. I, I'm pushing those miners day and night. I'm making sure that people get materials. Like, you know, we're just as much a part of this effort as you are. So I'm making a scene. I'm like, other people uh, trying to get other people to look. The droids suddenly hearing the large uh, increase in volume suddenly turn. Uh, so they are distracted, but the Wookiees uh, know their captain is apparently are, are quite familiar with their captain hitting nerves. Nerves, so uh, they're just continuing to do their work. Uh, so if Key would want to do his stealth roll now, or maybe wait for Rogesh uh, to make more of a scene. Um, yeah, I'm even going to say because it's mostly Wookiees around, right? Yeah. Okay. So in fact, all, the only people you see loading equipment that aren't droids are Wookiees. Oh, okay. Um, I am going to say um, I need to pull the Wookiees into this. You know, and just because I'm not a fighter doesn't mean that I wasn't helpful when, I mean, I helped, you know, save several Wookiees from, you know, and I'm just making up mining accident on such and such before I came to work here and... You know, everyone looks down on miners because we're not fighters, but we're just as important. Uh, the Wookiees look over, but I think this is going to be a competitive check okay. uh, for their attention. It's because either they're afraid of their captain getting mad at them, or they fully believe in your lie and get distracted. So I think it's going to be... This will be against their... Either way, it's either coercion or deception, which is... They're both against discipline, right? Um, sorry, what was the other check? Coercion, uh, is, coercion is discipline, right, guys? Yeah, I thought as much. Okay, yeah, so for it's going to be... Okay, yeah, it's just going to be an average check for both of us, and you'll roll your deception, and I'll roll my... Uh, I'll roll my coercion. And uh, actually, I think due to the fact that he's their captain, that this guy will get a boost. Does anyone disagree with that? Sounds legit. All right. Yeah, loyalty. And so he, he I, oh, coercion, not leadership. Uh, yeah, I, I think coercion. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm with. It might be his leadership as his captain, or his intimidation as just being who he is. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but you made him. You made him sound like a pretty intimidating character. So yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to start cursing in Sherawook. All right, that'll give you. I think I'm that'll just, give you a boost. I'm calling him a stupid nerf herder in Sherawook, as well as a couple of other choice words. The Wookiees uh, chuckle at that. All right, all right. So this will be his coercion against his crewmates to keep them busy. All right, all right. So you have to beat one success and two advantage. And you do. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, the Wookiee chuckle at this and they put down their crates and gather around the captain waiting to see if he can rally back against this sucker. So at the moment, he can get on the ship with just an easy stealth check to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid and loud. Just easy? Yeah. In oh. fact, oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to upgrade it. So we'll uh, right no. Now. What's that be the one despair? I okay. hope so. I, I've had it happen to me. <laughs> uh, darn. All right, you, you, you're able to get on board. And once you get on board, you notice that there is one uh, older human female that appears to be uh, uh, taking inventory of the shipment, but she currently is more interested in counting all these crates than you. So she actually hasn't... She's, oh, as you, as you probably assume, she hasn't noticed you. 
Uh, so you currently have the free reign of the ship. Uh, and going back to the captain for just a moment, he rears back at you and says, Then why are you here? There are plenty of mines in less safe locations with more valuable materials. You could be in this fight, but instead you took a cushy position on a backwater world that had no, that, ha that poses no threat. Cushy? What are you talking about, Cushy? I've got calluses. What do you have on your hands? Those smooth, aristocratic hands? And I push them. Yeah, my hands are smooth, but look what happened to my fucking eye! And he comes back and he pushes you with... I'm gonna... I think that's a brawl Well, check. it looks like it's an improvement! Uh. <laughs> I gotta keep this out. Or else I'm gonna keep forgetting it. Uh, <laughs> the captain's like, "What the fuck are you even doing up here? I don't need you to over. I don't need you to see where your fucking boxes are going. Go back to your mine and maybe let some rocks fall on you." <gasps> what? And I'm gonna take a swing at him. All right. You uh, never it's... joke about that with a miner. All right. It's just gonna be a uh, you know a standard average check. Oh, actually, hold on. He might have adversary. Oh, he does. Two red die. <laughs> Two red die. And um, I'm going to do frenzied attack. <laughs> New plan. Let's just blow up the planet. <laughs> and I aim. So here goes. Bonk. All right. Uh, you push him back. Uh... Six points of damage. Strength. Ah. Yeah, uh, he doesn't. He looks like he really looks mad. Uh, a lot. A, he seemed to have just like put his foot behind it and eat a lot of your uh, inertia. So he do, he doesn't seem to have been that phased by it. But he's gonna wheel right around and just punch and try and punch you square in the face. Uh, all right. So that's uh, and d you have dodge too, don't you? I'm going to do coordination dodge. I'm not going to make oh, it all okay. flashy, but I'll just, you know, kind of dance on my feet. And... All right, so what what would that make a standard uh, melee check into? Oh, he has to get six successes to hit. Oh, all right, but it's still just the two purple? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Is there any defense? Uh, no. Oh, you know, I'll take strain to dodge, so I'll upgrade it once. All right, his brawl would be one, two, three. Oh, dear. Yep, uh, this could work. I'll flip too. Turns out he has a repulsor fist. Oh no! Oh Oof. well, he doesn't get he doesn't do he doesn't get enough successes to hit. However, that triumph. Uh. uh maybe yeah. maybe he actually connects enough. Um, well, Rogesh kind of feigns no, no, that he knocks much, him down. I have a much much better idea. Okay. For the triumph, uh. He he misses. Uh, Rogash is able to bend out of the way. However, you both are able to turn into position where you see a very imposing man in what looks like an officer's uniform stride out of the spaceport building and onto the flight deck. And he says in this booming voice, What is going on here? He insulted miners! Miners that are responsible for... Protect... Or you know, responsible for keeping this operation, you know, going. He insinuated that I should be killed by a cave-in. You don't say that to miners. The man stares at you, and he is cold as ice. He takes one, two steps towards you and says, you should not even be here. And with that, we'll cut to Key for a minute. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. So you are currently in the ship, and uh, given the size of a YT series, you can easily find the engine room. Uh, the hyperdrive is located dead center. Uh, do you have a toolkit on you? No, I do not. Okay. Well, that takes out the even. I, mean, I that have takes a out utility the... belt. <laughs> right, sorry, uh, can you do a one. utility belt maneuver? I mean, incidental. Oh, no, I don't have a talent. I mean, I have the item. Okay, Go on and well, keep talking. As maybe, well, no, then I say you have the tools on you for a skull degree, but not the easier mechanics. Oh, okay. Uh, to take out the piece that Balkan needs to fix the Sunflare's hyperdrive, 
you are going to need to pass a daunting upgraded... Oh, it would be a competitive mechanics, I guess, since... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Three red and a purple. Three red and a purple. No biggie. Skullduggery. Okay. Actually, make that four red. I'll flip. Ooh. Maybe oh. there'd be a boost for knowing what the pieces we're looking for? Yeah, I'll say you know. Yeah. Okay, and I'm decreasing the difficulty once. So would that just be one purple, three red again? I, I, yeah, I think that's what we settled on, because it certainly should remove all... Yeah, one purple, three red. I think, I think so, yeah. Okay, and go! <laughs> uh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. This is your third on Match Fortune, right? It's my second. Ah, oh, damn, I thought... Uh, yeah, I thought you... Oh, yeah, because you didn't use it to make that triumph better. Right. Yeah, no. We kept the double triumph as is. <laughs> Darn, I wanted to celebrate finally using up all your unmatched fortunes again. <laughs> Soon, don't worry. Anyway, let's turn that despair into a single threat. Turn the um, upside down. Yeah. <laughs> and then really quick, let me see what else I could do with Jason Sides. Da -da -da. Yes, I named it that. We will turn that double threat into a blank. So now it's just three successes and a threat. Uh -huh. uh, I want to see if I can get a triumph. So if it's a two. Oh. Okay, if it's a two. All right, there's one. And, oh, that would be the third. Yeah, that's okay, all of them. So, so it's you now have four successes, two. a threat, and a triumph. Or no, wait, you flipped over one of the double successes, didn't you? Oh, for the triumph? Yeah, which proficiency die did you change to the triumph? Um, that single success. Oh, okay. So, so it still... kept it about the same, just added a triumph. Okay, so now all basically all the negative results is a threat. There's, no, there's still one threat. <laughs> yeah, that's... So, okay. Yeah, three success, one threat, and a triumph. All right, I'm going to take that threat and put it over here, and uh, you are able to you take sure out the piece. you sure you don't want to inflict a strain? No. Nope. Huh. Uh, go ahead and keep your strain as is. Uh, you are able to pluck out the piece, and uh, it sounds like for a minute that the hyperdrive kind of whirs down very audibly, like the ship itself is kind of rattles as a result. However, you're able to, you know, flick a bypass and uh, suddenly avoid. Oh, actually, you know what? You accidentally flick a bypass as you're pulling the thing out, so it doesn't happen. Nice. Uh, but that might have dragged. That might have gotten a lot of attention. Uh, however, you now have the piece out, and for that triumph, I'm going to say uh, something completely not related to that happens. Uh, for the moment, we cut to Rogesh. And, oh, uh, I know exactly what to say to this guy. So I kind of um, splutter because I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm really not supposed to be here. But, well, there was a cave-in, and we weren't able to get a full shipment here and I was really embarrassed about that so I wanted to personally explain to the ship captain why we didn't have a full shipment and then he started to insult me the man looks at the captain the captain nods and goes you damn right I did these miners have it too easy and the director uh, shakes his head looks at Rogesh and he says leave now Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I throw up my hands. I'm like, ugh, done with this. Uh, the man continues to look at the captain. Uh, so for the moment, uh, everything's died down. And so uh, Key is now still in the ship. It looks like everyone's returning to their duties, though. So uh, getting out is probably going to be a lot harder than getting in. Oh, well, I would have, if I didn't see Key leave, I would still try to... I wasn't sure if he was doing that while Key was coming out. Do you know what I mean? Like, kind of simultaneous stuff? It's fine, though. Key's an expert. The, th the man really looks like he is having none of it. If you try to stay after he gives you that order, he's going to... Oh, no, I guess... Out. Yeah, I don't want to retcon it, so never mind. Okay, I'll just trust that Key can get out. Yes. Uh, so Rogesh is leaving and everyone's returning to their duties. Key, I assume, are you going to try and get out or maybe just uh, hide? I'm going to stumble and faceplant in front of everybody. 
<laughs> uh, the Wookiees are going to turn and laugh, and so is the captain, but the droids uh, don't care. So they're All right, so that, that'll make it easier, but the droids are still returning to their task. <laughs> oh, was that for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. I start crying. It's like I try my best, and I'm a minor, and just get insulted, and and so yeah, I start to. Everyone cry. forgot it was my birthday. <laughs> Everyone forgot it was my birthday, and I just uh, start to cry. All right. To get up. Uh, the droids are distracted. However, uh, okay, and I'll let this be. He makes another one red check. However, at the same time, Rogesh finds himself picked up by the collar by the man who just came out in the flight deck, and he is dragging Rogesh back into the building. Uh, you almost think for a moment he wants he's going to throw you off the edge of the building. Okay, However, I kind of put my he, feet down. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so go ahead and roll your one red roll. One stop. What the 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 one? <laughs> oh wow! What? That's impressive. You can re-roll stealth though, right? Nope. Well, you always have one option. <laughs> no, no. Uh, let's see how this works out. That's a lot of advantages right there. Yeah, eight advantage is pretty significant. And only one failure too. Like net. Nah, that's hmm. All right, uh, as you're stepping on to the ramp, and this is before the droids and the Wookiees get back to work, you hear a shrill voice behind you say, What is this child doing here? <laughs> Turn around to see the woman who is taking inventory has spotted you and is just pointing jacques at you, and everyone turns around to see, uh, and they approach. However... They are approaching very slowly and cautiously, and the man who is dragging Rogesh away is a bit further off. So he still has uh, he can seize the initiative if he wants. Like so, where is everyone? Uh, Wookie and droids are kind of in front of you. The woman is behind you, and the captain and the stern-looking man are a bit further off. So really, you can go to the sides and be kind of in the clear. Just say you don't want to live on this planet anymore and jump off the roof. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Saber can catch you. Do you have your, your hoverboard? He does have his hoverboard. Just stow it away in your butt or something? What? Hey, it's just, it has encumbrance. That's all, all we right, care about. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you want, he can totally radically dude right out of here. Uh, although, I guess you have to pass that. Uh, piloting or coordination check to not yeah fall coordination off peace out plummet. bitches and it is <laughs> a med it is a medium distance to the bottom so if you fall off it's going to be a medium fall is Rogesh anywhere in sight uh, Rogesh is by the door and he's actually farther off than the stern man is what's his condition right now uh the stern uh, man no no Rogesh's oh he's he's free after he started walking the man let go. Oh, so, so he's currently free. Be... However, between him and you is the stern man, the captain, the Wookiees, the droids. Yeah, you're gonna need to go somewhere a different way. Hmm. Oh, why don't I just meet back up with you? We had clearance to be here. How are we to get on that ship? ship? You didn't. Yeah. Uh... Well, because we were making sure the pallets were here. That was the whole reason that we came up here. You know, How I'm are... just. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be like. Where the hell did you go? And I'm gonna grab your like ear and just be like, I can't believe you! I told you not to like. What? I'm so but sorry. He just he likes to hide. It's his stupid little prank, and just and I cuff him over, you know, the head. Uh, the stern man is gonna step in your way and say, I don't know about you, but I know a child would never have been allowed up here, let alone into that ship. And the captain's like, I never saw that kid. And I would have never let him on the expedient. So uh, I mean, the expedited. Sorry. <laughs> Galactic make a wish. Oh, well, no, I, I hand over my thing. It's like, yeah, he did have clearance to come up here. The the stern man like snatches it from you and looks, and he says, "Clearance to get on the flight deck, not clearance to get in the ship." And he I didn't clear. give him. Pre I you're absolutely right. He like well, I said, he difference? likes to hide and. 
I, I turn to Keenan, it's like, shut up, adults are talking. And huh. I cuff him over the head again. Just, you know, I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. I, I just got so angry at the guy and I lost track of him. You know, so sorry. Can All he right. stomp on Ragesh's foot and then run? If he wants. He wants. Totally do then. Just be like, you're not my father! <laughs> Wait, are you running towards the door or running towards the edge of the uh, flight deck to try and get off with the hoverboard? Oh, running toward the exit, just like away from Rogesh. Yeah, just yell, you know. Uh, the stern man immediately gets on his comlink and says, arrest the Tegruta child running on deck four. And oh, whoa, uh, we don't have to go that far. Look, look, I just... He's my stepson. We've had some problems, and this is a secure out. facility. I don't know why anyone would give you temporary clearance to get up here, but you were not even supposed to get near the expedited, and that, that child was quite obviously on board. So now, what are must... all the advantages? Okay. Well, the advantages was Key was getting a chance to fly off the edge or just get. He had uh, the advantages were giving Key the initiative to do something, which he did. Yes. Uh, however, well, the, kind of. Rick actually did. The uh, yeah, the problem here is that you're just making things harder for yourself. So we can construct all of what's happened into one deception check okay. to finally condense all of it. But you will get uh, the obvious unskilled assistance from Key. So for the two boosts, and then you'll get two more boosts uh, for at least putting on the good act of a rowdy child and a disgruntled worker. Uh, however, you'll have two setback for the fact that you clearly aren't supposed to be here, and it's it's not it's and things have not gone well with this man. And the actual difficulty is going to be uh, with the flip for the upgrade five reds. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh... And you've got one more unmatched fortune, right, Key? Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, here goes. Um, and I, I remove one of the setbacks with uh, talent. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, Whoa. The guards that showed up to try and arrest Key uh, immediately, well, try to arrest him. However, the man holds up his hand and then points to the guards and looks at Rogesh and says... These men will escort you out of the spaceport. If I ever see you in here again, it's for it's the best situation will be the brig. Worst situation will be your death. Oh, now, thank you out. so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And then I kind of like stage whisper to Key, your mother's going to hear about this. And then we leave. All right. Uh, and so, yeah, the guards, they don't take you to the warehouse where the skiffs were, but they take you to the exit. Uh, and so... Uh, yeah, now everyone is kind of untangled. So, uh, objective number one accomplished. All that remains is the ion cannon. Which, uh, you, I'm sorry, I should have brought this up when you first entered the town. You did see, uh, perched on a nearby mountain. Uh, it, it, it looks like you could easily walk to it. You don't even need the skiffs. Cool. Uh, but you Excellent. do, <clears throat> How big I say to remind you, uh, if you need to leave, the checkpoints are still there, and the guard said he expected you. Right. Well, so I guess we're heading back. We, we, would, we would have to go through the guards to go to the... Yeah, it, it's like you have to get out of the center of the town, and it, the okay. town is surrounded by checkpoints. Oh, okay. It's just that the one, the one guard said he when he when you left, he expected you to come through his checkpoint so he could account for you. Sure. All right. Uh, do you want to keep the skiffs, even though I said you didn't need them? I mean, just for appearance's sake, yeah. All yeah, right. Well, yeah, considering so. we're a good 300 kilometers from our ship, we probably will <laughs> want them. Yes. All right. Yep. Just wanted to make sure you would remember that detail. All right. So you're able. You yeah, the group wheels around a spare cargo skiff for you and Key to get on, and you take it past the checkpoint you originally went through. And then you take it to the outskirts of town where this imposing facade is upon you. Oh my. Uh, not as I see, of course, but there are a couple of uh, ground-to-ship turrets, 
probably designed to attack any ship that tried to make it a direct assault on the cannon, and then the cannon itself. It is, there is uh, a large bulkhead that appears to be uh, covering the control center for the cannon, and uh, there are several armed guards patrolling around it. You can probably infer that a miner would not be allowed anywhere near this. There a so I'm just gonna go ahead. looking for a like a targeting sensor or like a, you know, something like that. Your radar array. <coughs> uh, roll. I guess since Key still has his hunting goggles, an average perception check. If you would ask Key to look for one. Oh, I mean, Joe could look for one as well. All right. Yeah. Average perception. Uh, you would figure that the sensor array for this kind of weapon, especially since it is more of a uh, ground-to-space weapon, would probably be as high up as it could be to detect any incoming threats. However, you do not exactly see it. And I'm assuming this is like a Silhouette 6, Silhouette 7 thing? Oh, uh, it's actually Silhouette 5. Okay. Yeah. Like very that. low end Silhouette okay. 5. I'm sorry, what did you say, James? I said, what about like that piece of it? <laughs> that would be Silhouette 3. Break hmm. it off! However, <laughs> it is very strongly attached to the rest of the thing. Well, my idea is more of a, let me see if I can find a gift of this. Crush the tube. Well, you know, Saber has can pull objects out of secure mountings. Yeah, but I'd imagine that would at least cause setback, even if you could yeah. do it. What if he caused a small avalanche to fall on it? Uh, well, it, it's you know, I have to deal with the best I got, and the only iron can pictures there are are Hoth. So this is actually more rocky than icy. But it, is it on the side of a mountain, or is it just? Yeah, it is. However, you would have to move some pretty big rocks to cause anything that would affect the cannon. Only just destroy it from the inside. Possible, but <laughs> it is a guarded entrance. Uh, while you decide this, I'll need to quickly step away. I mean, Jokin's preference would obviously be a, a way to complete this objective without actually damaging it. Destroy it! That's what Bragesh is going to say. I would point out that the more overt our, you know, our method, the more likely we are to be yeah. discovered and pursued by space-based. You are. You are right. Assets. Um, let's. Uh, hmm. Yeah, try to get in um, somehow. I guess my disguise is going to work though. So, uh, how do you guys propose we get in? Hmm. Trojan horse. Good idea. Hmm. But where are we gonna find a large enough horse? <laughs> yeah, maybe some sort of special delivery with um, you know, the skiffs that we have in the the cart. I'm just trying to think of what could actually be. I mean, are we are we intending to go loud at some point, or are we just trying to sneak in? I mean, just we, could it, just set, we could just set a cargo lift to just charge, like, you know, put the accelerator down and it just goes forward. Well, yeah, but just like Jokin was saying, the less we make it uh, an actual attack, the less we'll have to worry about later. So if we can get in without yeah. causing an alarm. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see, he didn't completely say no to the force pull, though. That's true, yeah. too. Maybe you like kind of just, you know, bend it a little, bend it a little, force, yeah, so that it can't calibrate. Force guide the potato into the tail. All right, all right, I'm here. Yeah, I mean, like Jokin's idea would be some sort of computer deactivation for the next four hours or something or whatever. Oh. Well, but with Saber, if he can just bend that a little bit, just so that it can't fire correctly, they can always fix that without too much oh. trouble. But it'll what take about, a while. What about these little dangly wire bits? What if it was just a little wire was all it needed? 
Yeah, yeah. Rip those out. I'm, I'm going to, again, with the I only have so many pictures to go off of, it, you're, you don't see the wires. <laughs> Can I do a mechanics check to get a better idea? Or I would say warfare. more knowledge warfare, but then again, that's probably a better skill for you, isn't it? Or, uh, I'm better at mechanics, but I do have knowledge. I can. I'd be happy to try any or all of these. Yeah, I'd say knowledge warfare and uh, oh, the ion cannon. I wonder how improvised it is. Um, hard check. Someone want to help me? Rock's got no. Uh, Rock ain't smart. It, this would you be, can bounce ideas is, off of key. This would just be an unskilled assist. Sure, then Rock will say, well, I think we need to disable the big bit that's pointed towards the sky. Rock wasn't that helpful. Actually, Rock was somewhat helpful. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, Rock was helpful. So what was, this, what was this check trying to divine from the ion cannon, just to check well, what the advantage was? Kind of an idea of a... A sort of weak point that didn't involve trashing it. I mean, that was that was the knowledge warfare. Mechanics might tell something else. Uh, well, the weak point would be uh, pro what you guessed before that the ion cannon is kind of useless without a sensor ray to help it target uh, its targets. So, so if if I know something, if Joking can tell me specifically what it, it should look like, Saber can try vigilance maybe to try and locate it. That would be, but if you're actually looking for it, that's perception, isn't it? Uh, no, actually, actively looking for something uh, can be used with vigilance. Yeah, and it's as long as it's something specific. Like... All right, uh, but I'm going to say for that one advantage, he, he he can't. That one advantage was enough to tell him that he knew that taking out its eyes would be the probably easiest way to take it out of commission, but he would not know what that would look like. Another idea would be instead of tampering with the targeting system, would be jamming the connection between the two, such that it just cannot communicate. That's an idea. Okay. Um, what does the security look like? Because it sounds like we'll have to uh, get access. There are these large turrets that appear to be mainly for shooting down any ships that would try to attack the cannon. And there also appear, you can see that uh, the road leading up to the entrance is uh, continuously patrolled by a group of 12 troopers, and the door itself appears to be guarded by six troopers. Oh, boy. However, there is some foliage. You could probably assume that the, the other patrols go through to make sure no one can get too close to the cannon. Let me look through my list of gear and see what might be useful. <laughs> Not much. But would it be possible for Saber if he applied enough force to actually bend that? The Silhouette 3 attachment? Yeah, I, I'd say it'd be possible. It's just I'm probably going to tag on a, a couple of setbacks to the roll due to the fact that it's uh, it's it's part of the superstructure. So even if he has the talent that lets him you know, pry stuff off of fittings, it's still going to be a bit harder. I guess the only problem would be how do we get that without people going, what the fuck? Yeah. It's true. It's still probably one of the quietest ways to do it. Yeah. Um... Oh, geez, this is a hard one. I'm not sure. Uh, well, if only it had a bad motivator. You do. You have several solutions. It's just mainly all of them revolve around some un, un, uh, unwanted consequence. So. That is exactly. You may correct. just have to settle on. A consequence of uh, least uh, of mo uh, that isn't as least desired. Perhaps there's a sensor in the barrel that detects if there's obstruction and prevents it from firing. 
Uh, I'd let you roll a daunting mechanics check to see if you if you could uh, divine that from the construction of this sort of device. Facility, I guess, is a better word for it. All right. Yay! Yay. All right, you know that right in the middle of the boob, there is a uh, relay to the targeting computer. It's kind of like a fact checker. Uh, Without it, all safety mechanisms would cause the ion cannon to shut down until it can be repaired. Uh, Yeah, and you know exactly where it is and can point that out to Saber with enough clarity that through the force he could divine where uh, divine what small thing he needs to crush. Sweet. Uh, however, it, get, you are currently at extreme range from the facility, so that would add difficulty to range unless you want to try and get closer, but that would involve dodging the patrols. Uh, we need to get to Long. Yeah. Long? Yeah. All right. Uh, luckily, that you know that still doesn't really cross over their danger line, but you will still have to avoid a patrol going through the foliage. So, I guess that'd just be against their. They would definitely be looking. So their vigilance. All right. Yeah, it'd be uh, one, two, three. Well, no, it's still it's perception unless um, vigilance would only be if they're looking for specific. Um, like general stealth and stuff is still resisted by perception. I thought, well, that's the whole thing. I thought perception was specifically looking at something, but vigilance was general awareness. Yeah, I've never been clear on the distinction. No, actually, it's the opposite. Um, perception is general awareness, and vigilance is um, specific. All right, well, then it would actually be with a setback, one setback. Uh, two red, and I'll actually flip to make it a purple and two red. For group stealth, or...? Yeah, group stealth to get you in proper range. Or actually just for Saber, since he's the only one that needs to get close. Uh, Saber would need help with that, so... Okay, then, yeah. I'll let the group stealth thing apply here. So um, should Key lead the way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robo Puppy, apparently. Oh, yeah. Robo Puppy's still around. Um... RoboPuppy doesn't have stealth, I don't think. Oddly. I'll, I'll move forward with Key 2 to help cover with stealth. Okay, so we each still need to roll it, right? Yeah. Yes. So... What's the difference? Uh, two reds and a purple. Two reds one. and a purple and a black. Okay, but is that upgrade just for me specifically or for everyone? Oh, yeah, I have to do it for everyone, don't I? Uh, it's just Key and Rogesh going up with Saber, right? Yeah. All right, one purple for each of you. That should make you feel better. <laughs> Still so a lot of... Two reds, one purple, one black. <coughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> go Saber. Yeah, seriously. Yes, no one had to go with him. <clears throat> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay, so it's two reds, one purple? And one black. And, okay. a, and a black, yeah. All right. Um, Don't get it. Dis- okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you still adding up all these threats? Well, they, they've been released here and there. Okay. Uh, I'm concentrating. In fact, for this one, yeah, just take them as strain. Because why not? We're 30 minutes away from the end time. There's only so much more I can throw at you without adding another hour to this. And I've already pushed back so much. Regardless. So, all right, so you're all in long range, and Saber can make his roll. Uh, the sensor device is not actually as securely moored as the entire cannon to the superstructure, so you actually don't get any setback for it. It is just, I guess it's just an easy check, because it's not that big. Okay, I'm going to do this first. Um, I'm going to seek it just so I can actually get a firm... Uh, thing on it, so I will flip and take one conflict uh, in a strain. So so I know exactly where it is, as, as Jokin has described it. And so, yep. one, one difficulty? 
Uh, yeah. In fact, I'd probably give you an upgrade or boost die for the Seek. Okay. Mm. And in fact, yeah, make it an upgrade. Awesome. Tied to the Force, yeah. you are, Captain. Yeah. Well, it's the issue, like Dart said earlier, is the Force pips, so... Yeah, when you have six discipline, that's not the hard part. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to flip and take another conflict to activate. Wait, it's is it silhouette one? Yeah. Okay, so I need all of that. Um, so I need I'm going to take two more conflict to be able to do it, uh, and then another strain. You see that uh, Saber says he's successful, but he he looks kind of disappointed in himself, like he's he's tapped into something that he knows he shouldn't have been doing. All right. Uh, there does not appear to be any visible visible alarm on the outside that something is broken, uh, but Saber can feel that the thing he sought out has been destroyed. Uh, can we? Uh, I want to put one thing in though. With those advantages, could we say that Saber is inching towards using the dark side, but those advantages allow him to roll again to try? Because it's not like. Uh, there's a time pressure on him. He can kind of calm down, ground himself. Uh, well, I was having the advantages not trigger an alarm. So you can, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say you can either re-roll or you can keep it as is with no one the wiser. Oh. Up to you, Brandon. Uh, no. Uh, Sa- Saber would, under- would understand that we need to do this quickly. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's, he's still a bit saddened, but we can move forward. It's a long road ahead. Yep. All right. Yep. So uh, Saber knows that what Jogan pointed out to him as necessary to the function of the ion cannon has been destroyed. And so now uh, everyone roll me a two red and a black to back up, back away without getting caught. Mm-mm. And, oh. ah, there we go. Now let's see if there are spare successes. Oh, I did... Um... All right, well, that's certainly enough for him. All right. Don't fail too much. I know, right? Uh, Let me double-check my sheet here. I I better be rolling the right thing. Okay. I'm going to flip because I don't want this to screw up. Oh. Hmm. Uh, one, oh, yeah, that means one of you fails. Not enough spare to go around. Who does he want to save? Well, he can't get Rogesh all the way, right? Need oh, to... yeah, he can't. He can only save Saber. He can only nail yeah. out Rogesh. So we still have that unmatched fortune, though, right? Because you didn't use it for that failure earlier. There is one left. Yeah, but... Oh, uh, yeah, and you can do it for Rogesh, too. Hmm. <laughs> Is that what you want? Well, yeah, so we could get out of here. I, okay. I'd say this yeah. is, we're at endgame. Use it. Let's oh, are we? Out. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Jack can do whatever he wants, so... <laughs> Jack has familial obligations at five. <laughs> right. No, I don't. The obligations were before the time, not after. Surprise. I can stay <laughs> all that long. <laughs> Now, this is where it gets tricky. Unless you just want to say we pass. Yeah, let's just pass. Um, just get rid of the... Uh, well, yeah. Well, I don't just... think that's your call. I think that's... Well, GM, can't you just but... flip the double failure to something? Yeah. Potentially. <clears throat> the double failure can either be a blank or a despair. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with blank. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a 50-50 kind of thing, so... No, I'm going to say, I'm going to see if you can. I'm going to see what, if luck's All right. going to well, here. Even if you roll for it, it's not like you have to do that. Well, I, know, you know. I know, It's not like if you roll, you're forced to take the despair. It's just I, I want to see if you can. Terribly aware of that. If it's a two, it's a blank. Woo! Nice. All right. And nice. Well, well so, that by itself is enough for your special successes yeah. to save both of them. Yeah. All right, so you're able to slink back away from the perimeter uh, completely unharmed. And uh, now that you're free of all obligations, you can return either straight to the sun flare on your cargo sieves or to the settlement and continue the ruse long enough to get to the ship. Um, what do you think, guys? 
Um, would they, I mean, do we want to do just a quick look to see if there are trackers in the skiffs? To where if they're that missing would be an average mechanics check. All right, hard skill go. degree. And you need to do it three times since you have three skiffs. I'll assume uh, that I'm being helped by Key. That's safe to assume, unless he has to do his own thing. Oh, hey, look. Nice. Nice. All three skiffs appear to be clean. He was a little more tired by the end. Uh, you see a nice big rebel insignia painted on the front, and it looks pretty. I guess the only thing is... We didn't is have that... any checkpoints or anything from the Sun Flare to the town, so shouldn't be any issues going back? Well, I'm thinking that just time-wise... Um... We probably should just skiff it back directly, because otherwise, if we leave the skiffs and then walk, that's going to be quite some time. Things can yeah, yeah. that might give them the opportunity to repair the cannon. Yeah, so let's just book it and get out of here. Yeah. Okay, uh, So, and you're taking the skiffs all the way to the Sunflare then? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, you skim over the pr landscape, but uh, it's kind of flat almost all the way till, till you get to the valley, and at that point I need all of our pilots for the skiffs to make an average piloting planetary check. Also, how many skiffs do we need? Because the cargo's unloaded, so couldn't we fit everyone into one now? You could if you want. All right, then I guess I just need Jokin to make an average piloting uh, I mean, planetary. that would be less attention, so it would just seem okay. better. <laughs> oh, oh! That seems really annoying, guys. Was that with any boosts or anything? I mean, gravity's... obviously, but from oh, you only have one skill in planetary. Yeah, gravity's annoying. Well, maybe if you learn to drive in it better. Yeah, uh, you wreck it uh, on a rocky outcropping to the entrance of the valley. Uh, the repulsion lifts appear to be completely conked out. However, uh, it ground to a halt, so no one's injured. Uh, yeah, the sun flare is still a hike away, but uh, you know you can kind of see where you put it, so it's not that long of a trek. Dang it, if only we had a mechanic. Have Pippa meet us in the middle? Yeah. You, uh, hold on. All right. Uh, actually, <laughs> forgot to mention this. In the valley... Uh, they certainly have not spotted the sun flare, but you can see a, a pair of X-Wings fly over the valley. So it appears that they are looking for the ship. But they have not found it. It is very well hidden and kind oh, of invisible. Are they just circling the valley, or did they just pass oh, no, it no, no, no. They, they're flying through it right now, uh, but it looks like it's part of a much larger search pattern. All right, we can just... Well, let's just wait. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, walk... In the meantime, you're, you, the foliage is thick enough in the valley that they 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 wouldn't be able to see people, just ships. Okay. So do we want Puppy and Key doing survival again? Yes, and this time it would just actually be an average check upgraded once, but with four setback and just two boosts, or actually a boost because of Rogesh, not two. How many setback? Four, because you have four people in the party oh, that right, have survival. Yeah, okay. And I forget, what was our pool? Your pool is one green, three yellow, and a boost. Okay. Because of the dog well. leading the way. <laughs> oh, no. All right, everyone roll me 1d100. See, this is why we should have just waited. <laughs> oh, good. This is looking... Oh, never mind. Oh, rock... rock. Not never paying attention to the flowers on the ground and his head up in the clouds. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's me. Uh, and he takes twelve wounds. No, 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 no. Uh, he note he, as you're skirting pie. Actually, I can move this over back to the. I just wanted to see him soak it all. <laughs> back to the landing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as you're skirting the lake to get to uh, the sun flare. Uh, part of the ground on this kind of small cliff over it gives way to Rock's mighty weight, and he falls in. Uh, and it's actually surprisingly deep on that end. I mean, he's a droid, so it doesn't matter for him, but he sinks right to the bottom. Bye, so, Rock. 
Can I make an athletics to walk through the bottom of the lake towards the ship? Yes. Uh, actually, you can do that very easily, but to climb back up to the ship is going to be... Yeah, because it's another sheer cliff face, as you can see on the picture, so that's going to be a daunting athletics, and I'll upgrade it once. So three and a red. Um, is oh, yeah, the... yeah, climbing gear, too, so I'd say that gives you a boost for the right tools for the job. Okay. Um... Is the the cliff face I'm climbing up out of the uh, out of the lake? Is it like, um, is it more like somewhat soft soil rock combination, or is it like just straight stone? It, it's it it's kind of it's base it's really rocky. Uh, there are some pieces of soil that seems to try and live on a few ledges, but it's mostly rock. All right. Um. So I'm gonna activate my van blades and sort of Wolverine my way up. All right. Uh, that means you wouldn't get the boost for the climbing tools, though, since you're doing a whole different method. But would he be able to use brawl instead of athletics? Yes. <laughs> Punch that rock. <laughs> Frenzy to attack the rock. I'm going to upgrade it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't if I were you. That would cause it to <laughs> just fall back in. No. Um, so here we go. Wolverining my way out. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, you're able to climb up to the sun flare and even tear away some of the uh, foliage uh, enough so that it would be a bit easier for the ship to get out. I'll clean my blades off of each other and just uh, uh, And in the meantime, the rest of the group comes up the way they came down and uh, quite <laughs> astonished that <laughs> rock beat them. them. <laughs> Still, like, leaking water from every available planet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, once you get on board, you hand the piece to Balkan, I assume, and he, he nods and smiles a bit and is like, oh, good. I, I've managed to get everything else up and running while you were gone, so all we need to do is break the atmosphere at le and get at least far enough away from the plant that we can drop the beacon and we can easily jump away. Let's go, uh, Balkan, we need to talk about waterproofing. I tried the foam, but that just caused your circuit <laughs> to fry. Would, uh, would Balkan ask else? about... Uh, Rogesh, or would he just assume that 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 the person who uh, he's he used to Rogesh switching faces, okay. so he he assumes since none of the party uh, <laughs> that's you a know, good he's point. not in binders or anything. He just assumed it was Rogesh. All right, and uh, in short work, he's able to uh, reconfigure the device he got into a power regulator for his device and inserts it. And so all we need is a. I guess since it's downgraded, thanks to rock, it's now just a hard piloting check to pull out of the hidey hole. Before we pull out, can we make another scan to see where those X-wings are? Oh, yes, that Before. would be a hard computers. Actually, average computers, average computers. All right. Keep your joke and go for it. There you go. All right, uh, they have... Uh, reached the uh, other end of the valley and seem to be heading towards the settlement. Uh, they would be at planetary medium range uh, if you got off, but all their weapons, Jokin would know, being a pilot for them, are close. So even if they saw you, it would take them a bit to catch up. Yeah, but I'd rather them not see us in the first place. Yep. I all mean, right. they're going to be moving fast enough. We can just wait like a minute. All right. Uh, you wait ten minutes, and they're off your sensor sweep. Excellent. Cool. And no one's made it on board our ship. We were gone, right, Balkan? I made sure to lock the doors, uh, and uh, the only uh, noticeable activity outside, aside from fauna, were those X-wings. Fair enough. All right. Uh, and so now we just need the heart check. And you peel out of the hidey hole, making it even look look even cleaner than it was before, and pull into outer space. Uh, it looks like the station again is scrambling ships to catch you, but there it's too far away for any of them to catch up before you uh, activate the relay pod and jump away. And eventually, you know, within a couple of minutes, actually not a couple of minutes, within an hour, you end up outside the stellar nursery again with the Farseer waiting. And uh, Balkan orders the Farseer to transmit the self-destruct codes for the beacon, and uh, as far as he's, he's concerned, if you were to ask, he thinks that uh, 
while it was an unexpected adventure, he thinks we've cleaned our tail nicely. And he's gotten... Uh, and uh, while you wouldn't care, I was able to get uh, the data I needed for the uh, new hyperdrive modifications. Excellent. But I don't have a tail, so it can't be kept clean. <laughs> All right. So that is actually the end of this journey. However, with the fact that you now have very precise data leading to a rebel safe world, that is information that is worth a lot of money to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. uh, Jokin, of course, would know this, so he can try and tell the crew otherwise, but should... Let's sell it to Hawk. Uh, yeah, should any of you want to... Uh, there is a very nice payday that would follow should you give away the information about this planet. Mm. I'm going to tell Jokin straight up. Um, I hope you realize I am telling the broker about this. We're broker agents. I am telling the broker. Yeah, when we finally talk to him. We find him. We finally talk to him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jokin's going to say I trust him to do the right thing with that information, I think. I think. Oh, Bosch has more interest in it. So. Planet. Um, Let's yeah. not tell Hawk about this yeah. planet. I, uh, yeah, that's the whole continuity thing, is that in his game, I'm pretty sure he did sell it out, didn't he? I He actually hasn't decided. I told oh, him to man. tell me by now. Oh, man. But he knows how much he's getting paid if he does, so that's a whole different thing. So Jokin will attempt... Hmm, is there a way he can... Okay. He's going to, well, maybe we should do this at the very end, but he would like to work with Balkan or see if Bill's interested in working with him to set up a way to mm, observe transmissions going off the ship. So you want me to give you the means to listen in on everyone, including me? Would it make you more comfortable than just for specific keywords? Like Rebel and Planet, I assume? And Furry. <coughs> Thing like those things. Gross. Uh, Balkan will purse his lips for a minute and then uh, say, Krachala was working on something akin to that <laughs> to help monitor Imperial... Uh, web uh, Hollownet traffic when it came to looking for her. I think I can uh, ask for her to give me her notes on that. So unethical. Ah, but all for the greater good. See, this is why people need their own ships. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, with that little tidbit away, that uh, if anyone would want to. <laughs> go with the offer of giving away the planetary information. All you have to do is uh, whisper me. I kind of made that a bit... I maybe made that a bit too public in the other session. Although Hawk was there, so one could guess who'd, who'd done it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, regardless of that, that would be the end of Shadow of the Broker 30. Lay down your burdens. I have been Jack, the GM, and these have been other people, and we have hoped you have enjoyed watching Bye, sayonara, bye-bye. Yay, oh, um, well, usually for the recording we still do the XP. And stuff. Oh, yes, you're right. Damn it. <sighs> and that was such a good outro. All oh, right. No, it's all uh, dirty well, word. Uh, as, Balkan's as you all know, Balkan's uh, research budget is very constrained, so payout will be nil. Unless yeah, we can you tell from to... that Wayfarer, that looks very restrained. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, it helps when you have a lot of smart people knowing what to do. Regardless, no payout unless should you uh, sell some things that you have recently gained. Uh, regarding experience, base 15 uh, plus 2 for dealing with the hyperdrive repair, for getting the hyperdrive device without setting off uh, any alarms, well, to the point of combat. Uh, and another one for dealing with the uh, another two for dealing with the ion cannon again without setting off any alarms, uh, and one for 
general RP, specific instances being Rogesh and Saber, and uh, Rogesh and uh, Jokin. Uh, and the the moment with Key, like that 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 entire scenario is pretty funny. And Rogesh and Key, I, I see I see a common yeah. threat here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, in fact, for that I'll get I'll make, I'll make it twenty one. Uh, one XP for Rogesh's dealings with Saber and Joker, another one for that whole scene on the flight deck. And so that yeah that I round that out. Uh, unless I got the math wrong, that's twenty one, correct? Mm-hmm. I counted twenty five. <laughs> I'm not that wrong. Uh, so, uh, M- MIRP, I think I know what I would vote for, but what's up? who would you pick, team? Rogash. I feel like that one was kind of a given for me anyway. Yeah, but these, uh, these infiltration sort of stuff really gives, <laughs> gives him a lot, of, a lot of room to maneuver. Yeah. yeah, he did well, and it was fun with the whole... Uh, Thank you, Just guys. that name and Nixon and all that stuff. And thanks for you know writing an adventure that had so much infiltration potential. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, when this recording's over, we can we can unmute Ben and have him tell you how they solved this problem. <laughs> oh man. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, that to... was the divvying up of XP. Uh, duty. Duty's a strange beast, but I'm just gonna say for now, no ups or no downs. Uh, Not since even you were... attempt to squelch any. What? I don't think no, the attempts count unless you actually do squelch it. Right. Yeah, and if if someone if someone I no, because the problem is that's kind of out of his control. Uh, so no duty gain or loss, uh, no obligation gain duty. or loss from now for now, and for morality. Uh, how much conflict did you tabulate for Saber? Uh, six. All right. Uh, Actually, not did, that bad. And did that count the three conflict for the... Was it yes, that, that, that does include the three. Okay. So I needed uh, three for that, one for the Seek, and then two for the um, disabling the, the cannon. Uh, but we also had... We were going to talk about um, some positive yes. modifiers. Yeah, that, that's, that's brought that up. Uh... Have actively strayed for the light. Uh, so that is certainly worth something. I'm going to say plus two morality, and that would be just a net combination of all the times where you actively did not do something because it would involve using the dark side. So 1d10 minus 6 plus 2, and then this will be two times over because it did trigger. Yay! I go up by 10. All right, not bad. Yeah, that actually takes me out of like the dark side paragon sort of thing. So, Woo. awesome. My uh, my strain threshold goes up. Yes, and we're all admiring the redemption of Saber. However, I think unless anyone wants to bring anything else up, is this and is this it? Is this all we need to record? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Well, then this has finally been Shadow of the Broker Thirty. Lay down your burdens. And I have been Jack, and I've been. Later Jack, we did. And these have been people, <laughs> and I say goodbye. <laughs> see ya. Wave goodbye, everyone, even though they can't see. <laughs>